What up, y'all? Hi, everybody. Jeez. <laughs> wow. That was a lot. That was What's a, up, everybody? It's Monday so again. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello, and welcome to Replicon Radio. <laughs> we do stuff, and we do it every week. Yes, we do. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. 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 Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes every week we do stuff, and we do it right here at RepliconRadio.com. Got com. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. we don't yep. do anything. Yep. 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 But, but we do. We generally do. But right now we're live. We're live at replicanradio.com and we are live on youtube.com slash replicon radio. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hello. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys head on over there. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the things that we do on other days. Smack that like button, too. Yep. All the time. Every time. Boop, boop, boop. Is there a like button on there? Uh, on the YouTube? Thumbs, Thanks for yeah, subscribing. Thumbs up, right? It is a like button. Bell? Is there a like? A uh, thumbs up button. Yeah, a thumbs up button and a bell. And the Facebook? bell's a subscribe. Uh, Do you oh, you can like the video. Yeah, you can yeah. like the video. I gotcha. The video. I'm thinking the channel. Uh, no, no. You should just like the channel subconsciously. Yes, yes. Just bring it in and like it. For show. Mm-hmm. For show. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us and... Uh, tuning in. I don't know how you got here, but uh, I'm glad you did. Hopefully your journey was wonderful. Hopefully you stick around. I yep. got here for my mama. Yep. Did you? Mm-hmm. Well, tell your mom thank you for sending you uh, our way. Your mom she told him to get out the pool and go do your show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, it was a long time ago when <laughs> I got here, but yeah. <laughs> she had him in a kiddie pool. That's what's up. Yeah. It was like one of them bathtub bursts. Is it yeah. Kitty pool. Kitty yep. pool, kitty pool. Mm-hmm. It could have been. Yep. I, was, I, was, I was a summer baby. You, you know? can't slide out and smack that faucet. I was. Right. <laughs> That's what's wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Summer loving. I am a summer baby. It definitely could have happened in the pool. Could have happened in the pool or in the ool. Yeah. In the ool. Yeah. There's no pee in it. Let's keep it that way. Uh-huh. Speaking of that, my name's Freaky P. And I'm Big Roo. And I'm Dead Body Man. Together we form Replicon Radio. Radio. It's true. Yes, it is. We have all the riveting chat. The riveting chat? The riveting chat. Who told you The lied? banter. Who told you that? What? Who told you that? I don't know. I'm trying to hype us up, man. <laughs> oh. Do we need that? Yeah. Need some. Yeah. Hype, yeah. hype, 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 hype it up. Yeah. It's Monday, June 29th, in case you didn't know. Is it the 29th? It is. It is. We're just a couple days away from a whole nother month. Mm hmm. Yeah, and we're actually a month away from my birthday. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Happy birthday to you. Turning 21. It's going to be so great. I can't wait to Don't legally you guys have drink. birthdays together or something? Uh, this is a week later. Or yep. A few days later, not a week. So it's the same day. This is one. Yeah, a week later, it's the same day. For sure. A week later, same day, different year. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, how you like that? Fuck yeah. I remember last year, Replicon Radio got a birthday cake for your birthday. That is true. Um, that is was true. Was it really a birthday cake? I think it was Replicon Radio had a birthday cake. That's what he said. He literally said, what I said. He said Replicon Radio got a birthday cake for your birthday. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and mine. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yes. That's exactly. What happened. Did anybody even eat that? I had a piece. Yeah. yeah. 
I had a piece. You probably had a piece too, just don't remember. It was good. It was chocolate. It was a good cake, but that's what happens when we let P in, in, in charge of things. Right. <laughs> it's, their, it's their birthday, so I'm going to buy our show cake. <laughs> I wasn't buying you guys shit. I know. Clearly. Clearly it wasn't a it was for the people big that rude came dead to body our, man birthday. It was to the people that came to the party I threw that just happened to be the same week of your birthday. Yeah, he did totally by accident. I'm pretty sure that was planned for our birthdays. It was it a was, birthday show. But for other people. Yeah. It wasn't for us. It was for everything is for other people. Uh huh. We, we were having birthday parties for ourselves. We were we were, but he he oh, and, and all the other else, people. So, so you and I were the only ones invited for our birthday yeah, party. Yeah, and everybody was all, all else just invited. It's like, for hey, show. you two birthday boys, you can come for your birthday party, but there's also going to be another party coinciding that for your birthday. Had I known it, I just said, well, your fuck, birthdays fuck. was the theme of the party. Yeah, if I had known that, I'd have been like, you know what? Well, fuck that show. I'm going out and doing something special. That's for how my we birthday. got. We got people to come to our party in hopes that they would also celebrate your birthday. Yeah. I figured we I figured we would get more people by telling them it's our birthday and not just a party. I figured that too. It didn't work out though. It never does. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, but we still ended up with the same people, so nobody extra came to your birthday. <laughs> That's no, fine. That's couple. true. No, that one guy. There did. was a couple right. extra ones. Big Rude did have a friend there. He did. I had a couple of them. Is that the, the time that, that, that one uh, guy bought me a bunch of shots? Like, there yeah. Was a, yeah. 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 Okay. Blind Fury or whatever his name is. <laughs> right? It's not Blind yeah. Fury. It's something like that. No. He goes by the name of Kung Fu Panda. That's it. Ah, yeah, I was going to say, Blind Fury is that fucking all star uh, rapper or whatever. Oh, yeah. Kung yeah. Fu Vampire is a rap. Kung, Kung Fu Panda. That's Jack Black. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's cool. Yeah, Shout out to that guy. That'd be, that would have been dope if Blind Fury went. If he he could have been there, too. He's probably friends with uh, some of the people that live in the city. Yeah, maybe. Seems like he'd fit in. I feel like Blind Fury is from around this area. <laughs> or no, or no, he, no, he's not, but he is a juggalo. Okay, yeah. Juggalo. He was uh, he's a famous freestyle Every rapper. City we go. Every other city. He's a womp whooper. He's a womp whooper. No but that dude can spit bars. And he's, in fact, blind. Fury. Yeah. Fury. Hey, tonight on the show, we got Lex, the Hexmaster. That's going to be fun. Who is he? Man, I haven't heard I, I haven't heard anything from him. Who, he who just put out a brand new uh, EP. God damn. Go so check it out. Been a while. I can't believe how long it's been since we've had him on the show. I'm not gonna lie. I know it was like last crazy. week. What is it, two years ago? Almost two and a half. Like, it's, I, I can't even believe we've been around that long. Let alone that it's been that long since we've had him on. <laughs> we've been around for. I feel like it's been longer than three. But there's also been a lot of shit that's happened to us. It's probably why it feels longer. It has been. We we're, we're, we're all we were discussing earlier the uh, the timeline. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, yeah, but I think some of the timelines are off. They're not. <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm. Did you go back and listen? Yeah. Now, where do you think I had the? I got, you think I just knew that shit? Well, I'm sure you went back to the episodes, but did you actually like listen to them a little bit to see where we were at? Mm-hmm. Well, I know, I know, like most, I know, like the rough. So I was like. It was either one of one or two dates when we moved to this location. I couldn't figure out which one it was. Because I feel like... But it, I was either that week or the week prior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like it was either a year or a year. It was like... Yeah. That, that one of Because one week we were like, next week we're moving. Fuck. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> right, I think yeah. we were like, well, I guess we're still here for another week or something. Like, so yeah. I think it was... Okay. It was right after we went to Hollywood. Yeah. We had our Replicon Goes Hollywood episode, which was located at the last location. And that was uh, with uh, the director of that movie. The, was it, was it was the was one it that the, was on Amazon? Was it the Three from Hell? No, no. The, the one after that? Uh, Wally Got Wasted. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's Wally it. Got that's Wasted, Wally got and wasted. we had the Crypt Keeper on. Yeah, John Castillo. Yes. I, see, I feel like we did that one here. No. 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 Nope. Which one did we do here that was recent? We did John Kassir in the sunroom because he was like, what are you guys, in a fucking bathroom? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I could have swore we did that one here. No. Nope. Nope. No, because he commented on the, the wonderful acoustics that we had in that room. Okay. I just sure. feel like... But your feelings are wrong. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I should never follow my feelings, apparently, right? Mm. Nope. Always follow your head? Yep. The big head, not the little head. Never the little head. Little head gets you well, in trouble. I, I don't know if your thoughts, if you, I mean, you're thinking that too, so. Your feelings are controlling your thoughts, and they're both incorrect. Are they? Mm-hmm. But we've done a lot of stuff for all the new people <laughs> out there. We've done a know. lot of shit. It's, weird. it's crazy. Like, that, I'm not going to lie, like, that blew my mind that it's been that long. Because I feel like we talk to Lex often. He's our homie. Well, we Boy. do talk to him because he sends a lot of people our way, too. So yeah. I think that's why we feel that way. That's true. Yeah, it's crazy, though. Crazy. Shit's crazy, bro. Crazy, boy. Did you know that? It's yep. crazy? Yep. Yeah, so, uh, so either it was keyed up. No. It was Chris, pretty sure Chris Paxton may have been the first one here. Chris Paxton on the drums. Yeah. I think that was the first time. Which was a long time ago. It's been, it's been a long time. Look at all these names. Like, yeah. Look. <laughs> and that's not even the beginning. It doesn't go back to the beginning. Yeah, I've been updating. I wanted to make... You know what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a tour shirt. Like a fake, like the Replicon tour shirt with all of our guests on the back. As if they were tour dates. Yeah. All, or you can make it all over like the name, like just put a bunch of like names in white font, like all over randomly, all over the fucking thing and all the names of the people that we've had on just yeah. all over the shirt. Oh, like a, like an all over shirt? Yeah. I think that, I feel like that'd be hard to, I, I feel like it'd be hard for them to do. We, they we would, could do it, but yeah. I don't think they would understand. The people that make it? Like, yeah. I just want all these names all over the show. Yeah, I don't think they would grasp the I would idea. probably have to make... You'd probably have to make lines. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, didn't, you missed this conversation. So for anybody out there that's not part of our Patreon, you should join it, first of all, especially now. But uh, it's patreon.com slash replicon radio. But t-shirt, there's a t-shirt tier. And every month, the members get an exclusive t-shirt. Sometimes they're... Uh, Sometimes we like to do special, supplemented, uh, you know, exclusive T-shirts and different stuff like that. So they're, you know, I mean, they're all dope. Just some of them are extra dope and more expensive. Right. Um, and I was working on a shirt for next month because they take a lot longer to make those. So we have to do it, work it in advance so everybody gets their shirts for the month and yada, yada, yada. But on the shirt, there's, I don't want to give the whole shirt away, but they're personalized for our Patreon members. But part of the shirt, I just wanted a line. Like, there's a line on the shirt. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like a straight line. Yeah, just, like, just one straight line. Well, there's, there's there's a little more to it than that, but there's, yeah. There's two. But it's like, I sent them, like, I, I drew up an image of the shirt, like my version with the logos and the images, and then there was, like, these lines. Like, I wanted it to look like this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Send over the images. I'm like, the dinosaur that you've used a thousand times? Okay. No, no, no. The other one. I'm like, the straight line? They're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't, they, didn't, they couldn't make a straight line without me creating an image of a straight line for them to add. Well, it's because they take all your images and they put it in their computer and they go, do, do, do. And then they put they print it. Like, yeah. They but don't they have they that shit. In a straight nope. fucking line? Nope. No, they can't. I feel like they could. Well, yeah, but that costs extra. Well, I would have paid it. Yeah, that's fine. Just make it. <laughs> well, it depends on how much extra. Don't you know. So did you use a copyrighted line? No, I, well, this just is like this well, yeah, is, well, this is real time. Yeah, this hasn't real. happened yet, actually. Yeah, <laughs> there's no line. It's like that real time beef we had on uh, yesterday's oh, yeah. Patreon show. <laughs> yeah, the Patreon show. Did you punch him in the mouth yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay, not yet. I haven't seen him yet. He had all day. No, I'm not going to his That's house. That's more shit you guys missed out on. See, we did a whole. I'm whole not. Episode I can't go to his house. I, I, I'm trespassing at that point. Yeah. But I catch him out in public. We'll see what happens. It's not trespassing. You don't like. talk to my mama that way, boy. What you say about my mama? <laughs> so now, if you were to say you were to invite him somewhere, yeah, is that uh, 
You know, like if you, you go to someone's property, you get in trouble because you showed up on their property, right? So if I invited, like, become friends with him again and just invite him somewhere and just beat him up, mm-hmm. then it probably is okay. Is it? That's is a that, premeditated that, assault. That, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Would, is that worse be. than it just... could be. If you're like, hey, bud, you should come down I think to, it. Uh, I think it kind of all lumps into <laughs> it. I mean, it makes your case harder because they're like they pre- he was premeditated, but I think ultimately it's just assault. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's safer for me to just run into him one day and just literally run into him. With my, <laughs> with my fist. Just run into him repeatedly. <coughs> he fell down, man. He fell, down, he fell down the stairs. I don't know what happened. It was raining out. He came inside and slipped on the tile. Yep. Right. I hate it when people come inside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Grape Joe? Over in YouTube land. He says, "What up, gangsters? What the up, gangsters, the gangsters? What Speaking up, of gangsters, boy? we got fucking Lex, the hexmaster on the show. Is he a gangster? New York yeah. gangster. But he's pretty gangster. Huh? Gangster, gangster. New York gangster. Hell yeah, man. I feel like we're, it's like we did a show yesterday. Now we're all tired. Yeah. We we uh, blew our load on what shit to talk we about. Did. Blowing loads, Jesus. Blow the lids. Rue doesn't have anything because sports are canceled. Yep, pretty much. Oh, we watched I the fucking got... uh, high speed chase today. We oh, nice. We did. You guys fun. did? Well, like, well, was, not together, but we. It was down the street. It was kind of like it kind of like we turned the TVs on at the same time. Well, he probably seen it in real life. I watched it for like forty five minutes. Nice. This guy went from downtown. Well, he's like, I guess he was in Dupo, Illinois. Yeah, started out in Dupo. Downtown St. Louis to North County, all the way down 270 to 44. Back to 44. Past Six Flags to somewhere in Franklin County where he finally, they threw two spikes at him. He ran over one and then dragged it for another 25 minutes. <laughs> ran over another one. Still didn't get a flat tire for, I don't even know how long. And then finally hopped out of the car in somebody's front yard in Franklin County. And they obviously they got him. That's where they got him. Yeah. They just followed him the whole time, just chilling. Yeah, it was fun. The comments were fucking. I was rolling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was rolling. People were like, "Oh my god, I have, this is the most sports I've had in so long." <laughs> Everyone was like fifty thousand people watching this five mile per hour chase. That, like, that was even, what, that was one hell of a race, that's for sure. <laughs> that's fun, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't have my sports. They are coming back, though, man. Starting uh, baseball players reporting uh, July 1st here in a couple of days. They're uh, reporting to camp, and uh, somewhere in mid-July, they're starting to play a couple games, and players are pretty upset about it, but nice. Yeah. The players' union said, nope, you have to go. You have to play. You, you got, have to take the cut. You got to do it. Mm. Sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. Right. You have to take the pay cut. But you can strike next year if you'd like, so that's probably going to happen. Oh, absolutely. I need my money. I I, I, I mean, only made $90 million instead of $100 million. I mean, I kind of understand their, their beef, but at the same time, it's like, you guys shouldn't have went out and bought all that shit to where you, I understand you had to pay for it. We all had to pay for our shit, too, but we all took a pay cut. There's people that wasn't working during the time. Aren't the other sports taking a pay cut besides football because they completed their season? Well, yeah, that's the only sport right now that's not affected by any pay right now. Right now, but they will. It will be because and once it, once that starts back up, if there's no fans in the se- seats, I mean, I guarantee you they're going to have to do something. Yeah. But I mean, you can't just. That's why. That's one component of why we just don't feel sorry for the baseball players. We're like, bro. Not oh, only is it the millionaires arguing with the billionaires, every other millionaire did they negotiated with their billionaires and they, and they made it work and they're like yeah yeah we'll do that I think uh, what what uh, what sh- did basketball have a little bit of a up and down like uh, like we're not gonna do it we're gonna do it you know well they they the players were all ex- they're all excited about getting back on the court yeah they really want it but. The problem is, is like you got teams like the, uh, what is it, the fucking Toronto Raptors or whatever. Uh-huh. Well, they're having issues with, like, especially with hockey. They're mm-hmm. both having issues with getting those players back into the country well, right now yeah. because of all the lockdown and everything that was going on. So that's where we're have, kind of having a problem with, and that's where they're up in the air, like, when can we start this? Mm-hmm. So what eventually with hockey, I believe what they're going to do is they're just going to go ahead and continue the season. And hope in hopes that those players can make it back over. 
And I guess if they don't, they don't play. That's fucked up. But I'm sure the way that things are going right now, they won't have a problem with it. Yeah. But we'll just have to wait and see. NASCAR's been back up and running for a couple weeks now. NASCAR. Golf has been back. But yeah, all these people, all the sports are coming back. They negotiated fairly simply about yeah. about everything. And then, you like, think they're gonna come back and then go away again? Now that everybody's talking about lockdown part two. Yep. Well, they will. They will eventually go away because the seasons will end. That's why they're trying to like get their seasons in now before that next take hits. Yeah. So they'll be all finished and more prepared for it next time. I think it's just going to ride out through the summer. I, mean, I don't, I don't if, know. I don't if know there if is even a next time. I mean, I know everybody's talking about it, but nobody knows anything about it anyway. So how do we know if there's going to be a next time? Yeah, because like they were they were kind of comparing it to the flu. They're like, well, it does. The flu doesn't make it through the summer, the hot the, the hot months. So like they were kind of comparing it to that. The way I'm look, I'm seeing them like. It's doing just fine. It's doing just fine during the summer. Because, right. I mean, now we're we're seeing spikes in cases all over the place because now places are opening back up. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, Heather, I would like to think that. But the whole news thing, actually, Bubba Walls had no idea that it was in his garage and it was people that went in there, speculation from his team. and didn't know exactly what the hell it was and actually Bubba had no idea about it but other than that yeah I mean that's the only thing that with, I don't with know. all the other shit going on with that though I'm just like I feel like that was uh... he's, he's he's gotta be for him he's gotta pick a side he's half black half white yeah well how do you do that how do you pick a side you I mean, can't he's, he's a minority though technically yeah yeah but, so I don't understand so but they did they so they, they are all signed the garage they all went assigned garages and apparently his has a noose in it well they did investigation and all it was was a garage pulley you pull down the garage so you can throw it up instead of hitting the button yeah that's all it was and they said it was a noose it probably had a loop on there so you could grab it yeah I don't know I wasn't there I mean for somebody to even for for somebody in that field that's been around garages their whole life. Yeah. Not know what it is? Come on. Yeah. I think they were just trying to find a reason. I think they literally were just trying to find a reason to spike up everybody else again. Yeah. I really do. Because all the drivers have been nothing but extremely nice to him. And understanding what he's going through. Mm-hmm. And they were even trying to put it on other drivers, like who the hell was in here? Yeah, like, they've all been nothing but kind. They've all put Black Lives Matters on their cars and everything, and it's not for a money grab. Yeah, it's because they've been racing with this dude, seen him grow up. The, 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 the Bubba Walls is Rusty Walls, well, one of the Walls' kids, so they've seen him grow up. Yeah, and there's no hatred between them at all, but they're trying to somebody, somebody somewhere is trying to pinpoint it. Or trying to make make something up, and I don't agree with that. You know, we didn't have we, you know, racism slowed down a lot until they wanted to spike it back up. I'm like, you look back at like, I'd say like 2000, 2005. Mm-hmm. Like nobody really even talked about race. Eh. It was there. It was always there. And it's something that's always going to be there. We're not going to get rid of it. I think the 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 topic of it just became more prevalent prevalent in uh in day-to-day uh you know conversations as far as like i guess they're now confronting it like hey it's it's nobody was talking about it because it was so normalized and not necessarily yeah. normalized it was it starting to go away yeah kind of, there I mean, was less and less racist people yeah but they, i mean there was still racist were, incidents and it, you know what it's something that's always going to be there you're like i said you're not going to get rid of it yeah Yes, it's a part of life. It sucks. It's something that we have to deal with. I can't go around saying I'm proud to be white because if I do that, then I'm a fucking racist. But everybody else can go around saying, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm proud to be Chinese. I'm proud to be Irish. I'm proud to be African-American. But once a white person goes around and does it, 
I'm gonna. I, I, thanks, Paul. Yeah. But that, that's the thing that irritates me. If 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 you guys can all, if, if other people can be proud of where they come from, well, why can't I? Well, I didn't own any the, slaves. The the I can't be white, proud of my heritage. The white heritage. It, it, I mean, it doesn't. I'm it, German it, and it, Czech. I ain't even so white, be, be, but I get looked so at. So be like proud I'm an to asshole. be be proud to be German. Be be proud to be Czech. I'm proud. I'm proud to be Irish. You but can't. We're just, white people. We can't. Well, because white people is associated with uh, all the negativity. <laughs> like because because uh, white people just uh, as a whole, they have they're yeah, really sorry is, guys the guys are Caucasian. Sorry. Uh, yeah, like they they really don't have a specific culture other than you know, God damn it, my fucking headphones are fucked up. Yeah, um, no, I mean I like, understand. but just saying like, oh, I'm I understand. Uh, I'm proud to be white. Like, okay, there's so many different things associated that like uh, I mean which white there's so many different whites right uh and, and it, with just the the whole as a as a bubble like oh the white it's like oh so you're talking about like the English and and, and the oppressing <laughs> and and the slaves and that you yeah, that that white or you know redneck white what, what white are we talking here but you're like hey I, I like being I, I I'm proud to be Irish it's like okay you have a heritage you have a culture like that's it Oh, uh, you're proud to be German. There you go. You're you're proud to be Russian. You're proud to be, um, you know. You could say your actual like culture, but I mean, it's it, there's a difference between saying white and Irish. Yeah, it, you yeah, know, they, they, fair enough, absolutely. But to on the to play devil's advocate on that, that to what you were getting at, I understand that you were trying to make the point of like, oh, they could say they're they're proud to be black, but they don't have to specify. Right. But at the same time, white people uh, have been kind of really shitty. Not us. Not I mean not. But like as as a as an image, white people have been real white shit. People? White people have been real <laughs> shitty. <laughs> we well, the, we yeah. we fucked that up for ourselves. We can't just go and go. No, hey. no, 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 no. We didn't. No, not us personally. We didn't. But but other people that, we that get, look like we, us. We get looked at something that happened four hundred years. But ago. other people that look like us fucked that up real bad <laughs> right. for a long time. Not just the, the last four hundred years. I have real bad a long time. But they want to talk about slaves. The first slaves that even came over here were Irish. Uh, well, probably. I guess. Well, I, I guess. Indian I don't. I don't know who point. the first ones were, but I. Yeah. I don't want to get into this topic. I don't either. <laughs> uh, we're all just assholes. just like dancing around. I'm. I'm Irish, and I'm proud. We were enslaved as a race as well. So it I just is got what back it from is. using the bathroom. I don't know. Why we I'm know. Like, oh, we fuck, hurt. What did I just come back to? Yeah. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Yeah. No. It just. It just sucks that Bubba, Bubba Walls has to go through something like this. Is it just it, it? Was there something something else to it, or was it just the whole the, the news whole thing? news thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I I didn't know if there was something else or if it was just that. Uh, I mean, that's still bad. That I, I, I don't condone that at all. That's fucked up. If it actually happened, I mean, yeah, no, and they, they did the investigation, and it was the the little string that you pull. But maybe 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 they put it on that. May I mean maybe like I said, maybe it was a little loop, and they they all have them, but. It could have been fashioned <laughs> no, as a as a slipknot. But for somebody in his crew to even like try to even pull some bullshit, very unnecessary. Are they saying it's? And crew? it might not have been, yeah. Right. And it might not even have been somebody in in his crew. It could have been just what the media wanted to make up, um, or what the media wanted to say. Nobody knows the truth because. Well, I don't know the truth because I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I didn't see the inside of this garage. I didn't see a noose hanging. Yeah. So I can't really speak too much about it except for what I heard. Yeah. So which I could be ignorance and what I heard could be wrong. I thought it was cool. I saw the video of uh, all the other NASCAR drivers and pit crew pushing his car through the pit or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool in support of him. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Let's just end all the hate. Amen. I mean, I thought we were getting there, and then all of a sudden, shit hits the fan, yeah. and we're spiking it up again. Yeah. Well, you know what happened is they elected Trump, and he normalized it again. <laughs> and, I wouldn't say and that. And he it gave, was, well, a lot of it. has been going since Obama, since Clinton has been Well, no, there, what I'm saying is that, the, like, all of, a lot of his remarks and, 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 like, hate speech and all that shit, like, like trying to keep out. Trump the, had the, a hate speech? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hate. I'll have to go back and listen to that one. Yeah, what was not a whole hate, not a whole speech on like 
hate, but I'm saying that like he's made remarks, like the whole the wall thing. Like he made that all about like you see that as being hate. I see that dirty, as protecting these our These dirty economy. Mexicans keep them fuck out. You know, I don't hey. think he said any of that, but I think I don't see that as a hate. He I called see them that. all criminals. <laughs> Well, they are. They are if they're coming in illegally. Yeah, you call them rapists and murderers, and it's like some of ninety-five percent of the immigrants aren't that. But there are they're not immigrants. Like, they're coming in illegally, and no, he's I trying get, to protect our economy. I he's trying to it, figure I get, out. I get way. it, but you got to think all the yahoos that live out in the middle of the sticks and they go, I yeah, fuck so, yeah, so, make so, America great again, woo, so, yeah. So buddy. the cop that killed George Floyd, we're gonna consider that racist instead of a. A, a police brutality. That's what it turned into. No, they're into. saying it both. They're, they're, they're claiming no, 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 both. no, no, no. It can't be both because it ain't racist. Because there was on that scene, there was four cops and they all a different race. That's a that's a much deeper topic okay. than just on the surface, right there. But even with that being said, those two actually had a history to, together that everybody's failing to understand about. The shit that happened with Michael Brown. It was a police brutality. It wasn't nothing to do with race. And, and that's so where, why that, do we got to target where the argument race. comes in. That's why where, do we got to target it? But race. that's where the argument comes in is that it was, it, it started out as being a race thing. They wound up being a police brutality because of, of the preconceived notion that already, they have it towards have been that. It, 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 it all has to do with the preconceived notion that they have towards. Yeah, the black community as a whole. They they go into different. They go into the situation with a black individual totally different than they would go into the situation with a white not individual. All cop, not all cops. Not, do no, that. no, not all cops. Uh, absolutely not. And it is a police brutality thing as well. But the thing is, is that these the, a, a lot of these police brutality situations happen because they have a predisposition against this person because of the color of their skin already, because of prior incidents that they've had that. with other people of color. You That's know, when the they thing. run when they run your plates or they run your ID, if you if you're riding somebody else's car, obviously whatever they run the plates as, that person's going to come up, and that person's not in the car. I'm going to take a little more caution because I don't know who the hell is in this car. So let me get your ID, and then now you're going to fight with me about giving you your fucking ID? Now, there's obviously, you're fighting with me for a reason, right? Yeah. So you're not just going to tell me, no, I'm not giving you my ID. Because when you have a driver's license, you sign that paper that says you will obey the laws and obey police officer commands at all times. Yeah, but Just I mean, saying. you're really throwing no, a, you're really it. throwing a generalized blanket over no, it, man. I'm I mean, saying. it's such a complex issue. You can't just go. Well, they signed the paper. And they they have to obey no, the I'm police officer. Saying, though, I'm don't. just saying though, when you know you're out there on them roads, there's a chance that you're gonna get pulled over if you do something wrong. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah, but you didn't sign a paper that said I'm gonna be treated like shit just because of the color of my skin. Exactly. And that's sometimes that's, that's the not problem. What it is. You don't have that problem. You don't understand it, so you shouldn't are you be talking me? about it. Are you how black that are you? I, I'm not black. Did you get pulled over for being Mexican or something? You didn't have that problem as a fucking kid. I, yeah, either? for being a fuck, it's way different yeah. though. Because is we it? were yeah, because we were oh, shitty so kids. We're gonna, we were talking about it. And I I'm was just saying we were shitty it. kids. We got pulled over because they knew we were out there probably doing something bad. Okay, well listen to what I'm saying before you want to chime in. It wasn't just because we were white. Listen to what I'm saying before you want to chime in. Like I said. When he asked you for your driver's license and you tell him no, you're not giving it to him. After he done made it clear why I pulled you over, why wouldn't he take more caution? Why would you not take more caution if you were that officer? Uh, yeah, but that's not that that gives him no right to give him a death sentence. No right. Well, no, you're, I'm not saying I'm not saying you get ignorant and fight the motherfucker. The cat. If we're talking about jo- but I'm uh, just George, saying, getting, Floyd, he no, knew no, why I'm he not, pulled I'm him not, over. I'm not talking about anybody, in, nobody specifically. Okay, you're just talking about a traffic stop. Just in stop. general, if you get pulled over and I if I pull you over and I ask you for your license, mm-hmm. the car is not registered to you. That I don't even know this yet until I have your ID. Yeah. But I run that plate and I see that you have a run in with the law that you had you had other priors for fighting cops, I'm going to take this little call a little more cautiously. Absolutely. Sure, but that's not If the you call they up had- your record and it comes back clean, I'm going to come up, ask you for your ID. You don't give me your ID when I ask you for it. After I've told you who I am, why I pulled you over, there's a problem. Now you got to take more caution than you would just pulling somebody over regularly. And that's, with, what I'm saying? that's with anybody. Yeah, so, what does that have to do with in a lot of anything you guys are talking about, though? That's just one specific situation that has nothing to do with any of this. 
Any, it has you're everything just, to do you're with just, everything. You're just saying you're a, a nice cop who's doing what they're supposed to do. That's not the problem. There's some of those out there. I'm, I'm, t- I'm trying to explain to you what... Okay, but the whole George Floyd thing, he was fighting with the cop telling him, no, fuck you, yada, yada, yada. But I they mean, got called videos. on him. Like, like, But they did, yes. They they knew what they were going into with that one. Not necessarily. They got called because he passed a fucking he fake tried, Yeah, Yeah, they called him, so they pulled him over. because so they like, didn't know, and they were just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Like, and where the and fuck they started fighting him, from? and then they had a, they put him in handcuffs. No, all, re- all, no, all reason, that, no reason that he should have been on the dude's fucking neck and telling him, I can't breathe. He should have been off of him because he did... For one, he's in well, handcuffs here, and all his fucking belt. Well, here's the thing. They had him in Absolutely handcuffs. Absolutely right. He, they should have never on been the, on top of him at uh, that Sitting point. on the curb against the wall, they had him in handcuffs. And then they moved him to the car. They put him in the back of the car. And yeah, they but, said they he... A lot of times, videos get cut and leave a lot of shit out. We do the same shit with our videos. We cut some shit out of them and put them on the internet. Just saying. But, but they said that he, him being in the back of the car, he fought... Three cops and got out of the back of the car handcuffed, and then they fought him and got him back on the ground and got him back under control, and then they had three people on him, and then they they still were were acting like he was a threat to them. He was in handcuffs and under control at that point. Regardless, of I disagreed how, uh, with everything you said. Yeah, Absolutely, they yeah. should have never been on top of the dude. Yeah, I it, it, yeah I, I don't know, but I'm just saying like when I mean cops can't even do their fucking job anymore. No. Well, I mean, they, I, they, they can't. do. They can't. They try to, but they can't. They, I mean, but that's kind of like... Because people act like assholes and they got to try to fight every fucking body. I mean, I understand the hatred. It's fine. But not everybody's like that. So if a cop comes up to you and starts being fucking ignorant, tell them you ain't going to talk to them until they're fucking... Their lieutenant gets there, then you'll talk to them. And then the lieutenant gets there. No life doesn't work that way, even in the small circumstances we've had. Sure it does, especially nowadays. How many times have you been wasted at a bar or something and said, I'm going to wait till your lieutenant get here? You probably got punched in the mouth by a cop, and you're a white kid. If you were a black kid, you would have got shot in the mouth by the same cop. That's not true That's the problem. That's not true Like, you could be a dickhead. It's not always true, but it's true a lot of times. I'm pretty sure. It's true enough of the It's true enough of the times. I'm pretty sure a black kid, a white kid doing the same fucking thing, probably going to get the same treatment. No, that's the unless, problem. Unless I reach for that fucking cop's gun, or I reach but for that's a taser, not the problem. or I literally threaten his fucking life. No. Yeah, that's it how it should all. be. White but that's people not get shot by cops is. all the time. You just don't hear about it. Sure you do. But it's not no, just because don't. they were white. The problem is it's happening because they're black. Well, you know what? It has nothing to do with race. It's police brutality. Fix the fucking system. I agree. Fix both. Fix the but system. it does have to do with their blacks, the too. System. That's, a, that's another one. So police brutality is fucked up, and we all have to deal with it, right? But then the next step is the black kids have to deal with it twice as much because not only do they deal with the police brutality we deal with, they deal with all the races that are mixed in with that. So now they're getting extra police brutality just for being black. Because, like, here, think, think of this. They get a phone call. They get a call that, like, oh, this place has been robbed, and it, and this is a, a, a – the, they give a description of, of a black guy or whatever like that. The, and somebody that even comes remotely close, they come up at already as as aggro as they can be because they're like, oh, it, it, it's there's a black guy. He, he somewhat fits the description. We're just going to assume that he did it because he looks like a criminal. And they think that because he's black and he and he maybe dresses a certain way. I don't way. know what they're thinking. I'm not that officer. Uh, exactly. But it, it, history shows that, especially in high crime areas, they just assume everybody's criminals uh, because they're black. I mean, you're right. They do take the, the, the areas into speculations. And yes, just like white people get pulled over for coming out of the high drug crime areas. Yep. Well, you so know, why you, know being, you know, you know, why am I being racially profiled because I'm white? You think I'm, I'm in a ghetto buying fucking drugs? I mean, this and this, I come out. Now you, now you doing the same shit to me? Do you know why they pull over white kids in dr- high drug crime areas to protect the white kids to keep them out of that area? I don't think that's I've true literally enough. heard cops say that on like on on like the episodes of Cops or Live PD. I've literally heard them say that. They go, I've we pull these people over. Or probably because they think you're in there buying drugs. I mean, well, yeah, you, I, I, yeah. you, don't, you don't not get pulled over. You don't not get in trouble because you're white. That's not the problem. You know what I mean? So if you're in a known drug neighborhood, I mean, they if probably you have assume drugs, you're buying drugs. Yeah. Uh, but they also do it in, they, they stop people that look suspicious in deterrence to keep them from out of those areas. The 
Oh, show. I'm going to visit my buddy that's a drug dealer. Fuck you guys. Okay. That's what I'm Dude, doing here. Just narked on your homie real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna, nah, he ain't done nothing wrong. They got to prove it. <laughs> well, now they're watching him. Allegedly. <laughs> I ain't telling my who alleged it was. drug dealer homie that lives in this alleged drug dealer. I ain't telling who did it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just it's a crazy world that we're living in right now, and mm-hmm. it sucks. It's what it comes down to. It's yeah, it's a big, it's a big, huge thing, man. And it's, uh, I think, in my opinion, from what I see, the big, I mean, the issue is it's been going like. All the things, the brutality, the racism, unfairness, white privilege, whatever whatever each one is, all these things have been happening for so long. It's just normal now. It's become normalized. And to a lot of people, it was. That's why I think I think that's the reason people got so mad. I like, mean, I'm a firm believer. You got a mouth, use it. Let's stand up for our rights, but don't fucking terrorize shit while you're trying to do it. Well, those are different people. I, I agree with you. That those are different people. Like the people protesting and, you, and the people think, looting, and, are, and if you think that people. there's police brutality out there, there's other ways to go about. It. You can't start riots because after you do that, you 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 your 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 shit don't even matter anymore. What you're protesting for doesn't even matter. No, I I agree, but the problem is those you know they're, like I said they're different people. They don't know how else. And some to of them don't know. And so, some, you know, some a lot of them, of them didn't even want the riots. You know like who they, knows? They you wanted, know who knows the fucking people up in Minneapolis where all the shit started from. They know because they went over there and burnt down the fucking police station. That's where you get your point across. Yeah. If you want to burn shit down, go burn the fucking police cars up. Go burn the fucking police stations down. And they did plenty of that. Yeah. Well, they burnt one down and they destroyed a lot of cop cars. But, which the cops left there. They left the cop yeah, the that cars shit, there. That shit's weird. All like they, weird. like they, that they're really hyping that up. I mean, it's such a complex issue with the media and all that shit and the, oh, no, the, the, pol- the, the in, inner politics to all of that like yeah it's uh shit you know it's, it's what we there's no telling what's what's true and what's not what's fabricated what's true or like you know what's real um what who's doing what and you know it, it's the fucked up media conglomeracy that we have going on in this country. Right. True that. Yep. Yeah, who knows? We, we were talking about that off air. We were just talking about nothing in general. Just news in general is you don't get facts from news anymore. You get opinions and you get different opinions depending on which channel you watch. Absolutely. Yep. So then if you're an avid this channel watcher, you, you're now all of a sudden you, this is your belief system. You think this is the right thing. You know what I mean? And if you're hearing it from the people who we are supposed to like look up to or be responsible or be, you know, whether it's politics or even religion or whatever it is, the people speaking with that agenda, that's what you believe. Because why would you not? Yep. That's what they, you know what I mean? Like people, even people who think they're free thinkers aren't free thinkers because it's everything's pushed on us. Mm-hmm. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, everything, everything even now is catered to us. Yeah. Like catered to whatever our beliefs are because they have all of our whatever information. They decided and, our beliefs are. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, these people click on this more than this. So we're just going to show them all of I this. I fucking over love here. chocolate milk, Kobe. That's what's up. Kobe. <laughs> Hell yeah. Grape Joe says he gets pulled. He gets searched every time he gets pulled over because they think he's a devil worshiper. I could definitely see that. I would search you. I know you see, got now, now you see now you're part of the problem. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> that 100. percent If I were a police officer, I that would be absolutely. <laughs> but that doesn't give you the right not, to to because pull. it's not just in all honesty, it's not just racism. It's any sort of ism. You know what I'm saying? Like judging people in that position, you shouldn't be. You know, shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't you? You're not supposed to do that. <clears throat> Essential. Like it's shouldn't do it. Supposed well, to do a good job. You're supposed to protect and serve, not bully and pander. Yeah, you're. They're technically here to serve us, not to not the other way around. Like we, like yeah, they have uh, the authority of the law and all that stuff. But their 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 main goal was initially to protect and serve, like the public. They're, and they're not doing that. You know, you when the the 
if you're like a black person and you get pulled over and you really have to fear like am i gonna die out of this even if it's the simplest thing like they still yes sir no sir you'll be fine but they're scared there's plenty of black people they're scared yes sir no sir people do different shit when they're scared man a lot of times yes it, it, it's easy to talk about it in a room over a pool table into some microphones, but when you're in a situation and like, you know, what if you get a mistaked identity? Like, you, you know, there's been times where like, you look like this guy. I don't believe that this is your ID, so we're going to take you to jail because this guy has fucking warrants. And how the fuck are you going to combat well, the that? The thing is, you're both right. Like that, I mean, there's a million interactions probably every day with cops and probably 990 of them are probably fairly decent. Yep. Probably not. Actually, probably not that many. Maybe 900. And then 90% of them are probably fairly decent. But then the other 10%, which ends up to be a thousand fucking people, are being harassed or bullied just because of the color of their skin or just because of the neighborhood they're in or whatever it is. And that shit's not okay. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's there's plenty of good cops out there. I'm not, I'm not a cop hater. You know what I mean? I've had bad interactions with cops. But the problem is, the you know, the minority community, the people of color in general have been having a way worse time of it all their lives just because of the color of their skin. Not because of what they did or who they're around or whatever it is. It's just because of that. And they they got sick of it. You know what I mean? Like, that's literally what it is. Like, there's been times where they've been completely... Was it Chris Rock that said? Like, there's, there's, there's certain jobs where you just cannot have bad apples. Yep. The police department's one of them. Like, you know what I mean? You can't just have a bad pilot. You know what I mean? That was what he said. You know what I mean? You can't have a bad pilot. Like, oh, we, we, we got you there 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time, we fucking killed a whole plane full of people. No big deal. Whoopsies. You right. know what I mean? It's the same shit with the cop. You can't have them. You know what I mean? And There's they protect them. good cops, and clearly we need police. We don't, you know what I mean? Like, <coughs> we need police, and we need police to do their jobs, and we need to do their jobs correctly. But, you know what I mean? Like, the, the people who happen to be minorities and the people of color... You know what I mean? It's like it's like the same thing with people getting bullied in school. You get bullied, you don't do shit. You get bullied, you don't do shit. After fucking 15 years of getting bullied, you snap. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what's happening with the black community. They're finally like, fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what else and to do. And essentially, what did they do? They fucking started pushing back, which turned into riots and fires and things they probably shouldn't have done. But what do you do when you get mad? You say fuck you to your mom. You know what I mean? Or you tell somebody all the terrible things about them that you know is going to hurt them because you're angry and you're not thinking. You're just mad. You're not thinking about change. You're not thinking about what's the right thing to do. You're thinking, I'm fucking pissed off. So while you're in your community and the people that worked very hard to have the things in your community that are even I'm such not saying as it's black right. people that did that. So let's tear their shit up, everything that they worked hard for to keep your fucking community still going. Let's go ahead and tear, tear that up and burn it well, down. Well, you shouldn't. That makes a whole lot of well, you sense. Well, you got you to take it to it. You got to take it to account. I didn't say it was right. I'm saying that's, I feel like that's what happened. They got mad. But and it they, doesn't make sense. The whole community. Out. The whole black community. Crime, make sure crime makes the sense. The whole black community, like especially the ones in poverty areas. I mean, we can't even they, speak on this because we're none of us are African American. I agree. No, so but, we can't say the the whole black community or all. I the said black the ones community. that grew up in the impoverished areas, which I grew up in a poverty area, so I've seen it but where it, they white, they they have lived with their entire life with a system that is designed to not only incarcerate people that and they are have higher incarceration rates God damn it. sorry guys my I can't even hear myself they have higher incarceration rates but wow my my fucking equipment is fucking up and I can't even I can't even do my fucking train of thought all off <laughs> what other, I mean I no, don't care but anyway. where you grew up as though we we can't speak upon their feelings but well, I said that imagine but imagine it's, it's living your whole life where everybody you know and loved has been, has had this blanket over them where they have a system designed to keep them uh, impoverished okay and they feel like they they weren't given opportunities that other people were you're that, given opportunities you get you get bust out the school you can't that, speak for them that that the public has paid for the the, the cities has paid for so you have the you have that you have just as much opportunity as I do to go get a fucking education and get your ass out of it. But they feel it's up to you to use that, and if you don't use that, what's going to happen? Now you're going to be stuck in the same situation that your parents put you in. So instead of getting off your ass and doing something about it, you choose to go live life backwards and do the same shit your parents did. I mean that is true. I mean that's what it boils down to. But at the same time, not everybody has that clarity. You know, it's perfectly clear. 
Yeah, when you grow up in West County, not when you grow up in the fucking and ha- even ghetto. in the cities, even in the ghettos. They, no, African they American parents teach their kids to be better. You can't tell me they don't teach their kids to be better. I mean, you gotta think. The, I mean, parents always want the best for their kids, and they always tell them to do most, better than I did. Most, most, most. Not always. Lo- I mean, a lot of them are not single when they're parents. in prison or yeah. they're on drugs or dead. Or dead. They always have grandparents or somebody there to tell them. That is not true. They're not. Living under, not they're not. They're not six years old living by themselves. They're, they're with somebody. They have, but I mean, what if that's a drug addict? What if that's somebody that uh, is in and out of jail and they're in and out of the system? What if they go in and out of this? And I'm sure they, I'm sure they have friends that they see that it's have gotten their asses out, or they, that they, yeah. a lot of, they are going to get an education. A lot they of have somebody to talk to. They have a, they have an education where it's not getting them anywhere, and then they have gang, they have like uh, friends that maybe gang Why bangers, the and then and they go them there because they don't because teach they it. Choose not to listen. All right, so you're not, telling me that a, a school in West it? County has the same quality education as a school in the fucking city? Get the fuck out of here. I didn't say there the same qualities, no but the teachers do they do give a shit about their kids every day that they go to school. They're happy that to see That doesn't mean that they have the same resources them. as as the ones in more uh, more privileged areas. They do not have the same resources or but that's uh, if the, education. I mean, that's so, it's such a nuanced thing. Like it's it's so individual. That's if they go to school, that's if they have decent people that care about them. Like, right? There's I a, had a we dec- bust we bust I had a decent here. family. Since I was a little kid, I mean, I had a decent family in a white neighborhood. But I, didn't, I didn't. skipped school. They, I didn't like school, so I didn't go. And I had pe- I had I got in trouble for it because my parents cared, but I still didn't want to be there because I was a kid. I didn't know any better. So if you're a kid, and you don't know any better, and you don't have that person. That tells you you need to go do things that are important. You don't fucking do them. Like simple as that. Yeah, they go. Hey, I want and you to do better. Obviously, everybody's home is individual. You know, it's different. So if you have a crackhead mother or father or dead parents, or you're in a foster care or a group home with 700 kids, there's no one there that gives a fuck, and you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's the right thing. It's just what happened. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't like school. I mean, I would, I'm sure you had friends that gave a fuck, because I'm pretty sure I told you to get your ass to fucking school plenty of times. I did. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm saying I was in a good position, but even me, I, and you know I've had saying, black like, mentally, friends that I didn't I've cared about go. so much that I've told them, they even told me they were going to drop out. I said, dude, you don't want to fucking drop out. Fuck that. Well, yeah. Continue you know, to I get a to fucking education. Get fucking do something. For sure. You know, me and Brian used to get in fights. I'd throw phones in his head because he didn't want to go to school. I'd show up at his house and be like, bro, I'd like drag him out of his house, take him to school. Because I knew it was, you know what I mean? Like, once I realized that we needed to do this, I was there for other people. But other people don't always have that. All right. You know what I mean? We need we to take a break it. and get our guest on the line. And, and what if they got kicked out of school? Come back with a better Like, attitude. they take one fight and they get expelled. expelled. Right. You know? It, it, what if they're trying to make money to get food on the table by selling, like, weed or something, and then they get caught with weed in their bag, and then they get kicked out of school, and then they can't go, and then they can't get the education? That's right. I mean, there's so many ki- the variables. The world's crazy. Let's just love each other. Yeah, because that's, that's all we can do, right? What can? What else can we do? Where's the love, man? We have to love each other. Man. Yeah. Love everybody. Give everybody a chance. Everybody listening right now, group hug. Group hug. Group, group. We're all doing a group hug here. We all love each other. Six feet apart. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Fuck six feet apart. Give them, give motherfuckers a hug. Just don't spit or cough on them. Be all right. Hey, if you're on YouTube, man, you know you're mad at us for a second. We're gonna take a break. Probably longer. Than um, a if you're on YouTube, the screen's gonna stop. You're gonna get a little swirly, swirly, swirly. Shout out to everybody hanging out over there on the YouTube's, man. I see you guys. Um, we're gonna play a musical break. We're gonna get our guest on the line. Uh, we will. The feed will <laughs> resume. Um, if you want to listen to the music break, just head on over to ReplicanRadio.com. Uh, or just hang out in the chat room, and we'll be back after the break with Lex, the Hex Master. Yeah! Yo, 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 what up, y'all? We're back. We're live. Replicon Radio in the house. The YouTube stream is back up and running. In your ear drums. Thank you guys for hanging out during that short little musical break, man. But we had to get everything set up and calm down after our intense conversations prior to the break. Um, we're back. We're here. We're doing it. We appreciate all you guys hanging in there. Make sure you guys share the feed. Let everybody know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. And we're super excited, man. I can't believe it's been this long. Uh, almost two and a half years since we've had our, our next guest 
on the show, but he's become a brother to us, I feel like, since then, and uh, we're super excited to have him back. Everybody give it up for the motherfucking Shadow King, Lex the Hex Master. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what up, what up, what up, what up How the fuck y'all doing out there? Fantastic. Doing great. I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm so excited to have you back, oh, bro. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on for a second, man, because I tried to watch it on my phone. Uh-huh. Um, but it just like overpowered everything I could hear, and it's like a two second delay, so I'm back now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the fucking place tonight, good, though. Man. Like I'm just bugging the fuck out. It's all good, bro. Yeah. We're, it's it's a family affair. We're you know what I'm saying? we're just hanging out. We're wilding, as you would say. It's all for good. sure, yeah. We gotta keep wilding, man. We gotta definitely fucking have fun with this shit. Right? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. the way the world is. Oh, for yeah. sure. We gotta have extra fun now, right? Yeah, it's crazy, man. I went back and looked. And I was like, holy shit, the last time we had you on was like January 15th, 2018. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was man. like, what the fuck? I feel like we talk all the time. And I'm like, it's really Yeah, because we talk personally, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we correspond uh, outside of the music world thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, God. a lot of people don't have my, like, personal phone number and shit. So it, it's very rare that I give that out. But I'm glad that you did, um, you know take care of it and make sure it's good you know what i mean but, oh, yeah. but we yeah. talk all the time i'm just letting y'all know lex and replicon radio actually has a direct relationship <laughs> outside of business outside of interviews outside of the fucking cookie cutter industry bullshit you know what i'm oh, saying yeah. i actually talk to these guys i actually like these guys as human beings you know what i mean well, we we like you too man we love you we appreciate it i, I literally consider you a Absolutely. brother Absolutely. and for like we've mentioned it a few times because you've you not only do we consider you a friend, you've helped us out also while helping others and sending, uh, you know, up and coming artists and people that you think are dope our way. You know what I mean? So yeah, we've absolutely. had a lot of dope guests because of you, which, you know what I mean, helps us out and helps them out. And it doesn't, I don't think it does anything for you. You're just that dude. You know what I mean? So I mean, yo, man, it, it does something for me, man, because you know what? It helps the culture grow, man. Well, yeah, absolutely. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's what it does for me, man. And I get to see new dudes, fresh dudes. Um, some guys never even been on fucking radio shows before. You know what I'm saying? That's an awesome thing to see. No, absolutely. So, um, yeah, it definitely, I definitely probably get more out of it than any of you guys would ever even imagine. You know? Sure. Well, it's the shit, man. We appreciate it. And it's, I want people. I love it that much, man. I, I want people much. to know that. You know what I mean? Because that's because people don't do that. We've had thousands of guests on our show, and ain't nobody hitting us up like, "Hey, check out this up and coming." Nobody does that, but you. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Unless, <laughs> except for the smaller. You know what I'm saying? The, like. I don't like. I don't. I hate even I like referring to artists as smaller, but you know the lesser known artists will be like, "Here's this part." You know what I mean? But <laughs> right. most right, people right, that right. already are doing okay aren't aren't looking back to pull people forward. But you are all the time. That's the only way it's gonna push forward, man. Is everybody every time we get into a better position? You know what I'm saying? We try to we try to help out those. You know, that's 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 coming along the way. You know, like you say, not necessarily smaller, but just lesser known. Yeah. Um, and some of these lesser known guys are doper than some of the biggest acts out here in the underground. So Killing why shouldn't the world hear them? You know, 100%. I think it might be fear also. You know, you got this guy who just like kind of like my story, like kind of just came out of fucking nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And just like became that fucking dude overnight. I think a lot of the bigger name artists are afraid of that. You know, yeah. there's talent out here. These guys are hungry. These guys are ready to kick some fucking ass and take some names. They will tour for two three months straight because they've never been on tour they will go on stage every night and give it all they got and that's what i want to see i want to see i want to see it keep on growing and i want to see it keep on fucking shaping and molding and evolving because that we can only do that with new minds you know Absolutely. and new talents and new ears amen to that bullshit. Faux show. so the last time we we talked uh publicly on Revelcon radio you yeah. had uh Beyond Redemption had just came out a few months ago and you were getting ready to head out on the path of destruction with Scum and Axe Murder Boys. Yeah. And you were talking about how on the tour, your key thing, I went back and listened. I don't actually remember <laughs> that far back. But uh, your key thing you were saying for that tour was you were, you wanted to see all the other acts, all the all the, the regionals, the locals in each city. All the people right. doing their thing. I know we we actually did a little video recording at that tour, so I guess we did talk publicly since then. But so I'm assuming that that you out there finding these people is what is that kind of what led to the the release of Strictly for My Ninjas? Was that the uh, the starting the building point for that and the the Shadow Army and? I uh, yeah, I mean absolutely more so the Shadow Army thing. It's just me using my little bit of power 
well now more power since two years ago a lot more um it, it's, it's just me using my little bit of clout and using my my, my hands uh my iron fist to bring some of these guys out because you know one thing i realized and it, and it is sad that it's not really what you know it's who you know and i realized that some people won't listen to a certain artist unless another artist co-signs for them absolutely which totally sucks you know what i'm saying because yep. um when you don't know anybody and you just have talent or you can't buy your way into the industry or you know suck your way into the fucking industry that leaves a lot of guys discouraged and um and just like like fuck it I'm, I'm gonna give up you know what i'm saying so that's what we don't want we want to keep on meeting these guys backstage meet them at the venue meet them in the smoking section you know I, i've met some real terrible artists i'm not gonna lie you know what i'm saying i'm sure a lot of them don't know who they are because they think that they're the shit but yeah. i've met some really terrible artists on um it's like yo let me rap for you but i've met some dudes that are actually like oh my god this dude is actually fucking incredible you know what i'm saying well, and, a lot and of it times, goes both ways but i will be that guy i say that to say this that i will be that guy that will stand there and listen to your shit for five minutes i will give you five minutes for sure. that's you know what, what i'm saying, saying? because you never know won't do that yeah you never know there's been there was times when i was still knocking at the door of the underground trying to get my name out there and there's certain artists who wouldn't even give me the time of day for sure no absolutely i remember we uh when you first you first signed the M and E and and all that, you know everybody was talking. There was a big buzz, and we we had you on that first time, and we were actually talking about like some of the video clips online that were only weeks old from that announcement right. when you were playing in like wedding halls for a handful of people. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, exactly. You know, um, you've had to start somewhere, man. And you never know who that next guy is going to be. You don't. You never know who the next Lex is going to be, or even the next. Even the next Tech Nine is gonna be. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? These people, if you have the balls for it and you got the hustle for it and the drive for it, you can create that shit out of thin air. You know, so I never treat anybody like shit. Um, it sucks when the guy's terrible and he's rapping because they always want to know, like, yo, so what do you think? So like, don't act yeah. what I think, man. Because next thing you know, I'm gonna have a fucking diss record out against me and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because your shit's terrible and I'm gonna tell you. You know, so I just keep that regular and, um, I will listen. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got, I got a, a, a like a library full of CDs here that I that I have not opened that I gotten off tour. Literally, I have over a hundred CDs here that I, I've taken, yeah. but I refuse to listen to them because the minute that I say something that this guy said, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you stole my shit!" So I've never listened to any of them. You know what I'm saying? If anything, send me a link or something like that, or send me, you know, something like that. You I'm, I'm rambling. Yeah. No, you're good, man. You're good. That's that's real. I mean, it's dope because it's that's like, it's rare. It's I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. Like it's it sucks that that's rare because the way you say it, it just sounds so simple. Like I'm I'm a normal dude who came from a normal place, just like the next guy. So why would I right. not give these people the time of day? But the fact that that's so rare of anyone in this industry is just absurd to me. So like, props to you for you know what I mean essentially being a regular dude. Like that's that's humbling and awesome that you're you know what I mean that you just care to be you know caring I guess like I mean this is music man this is not this is not like a factory job or something like that where you just go just to make money you have to love this shit in order to succeed you know what I'm saying yep. um, you have to love going on tour you have to love being tired you have to love sometimes not even be able to take a fucking shower today you have to love getting in a studio and sweating your balls off. You gotta love the fucking fans who talk shit to you and the fans that big you up. You gotta love that shit. It's not like being a mailman. You know what I'm saying? So if you find somebody who got genuine love for the shit and, and is willing to put in that work, why not give them a shot? Fuck it. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. Shout out to uh, Kid Savage in the chat room. He said he mentioned that. Oh, that's shout out to my man, him. Coach. My man, yo, shout out to, 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 to my new goddaughter. He just had a daughter. Um, uh, about a week and a half ago, something like that, like two weeks ago, and he just made me the Godfather. We're gonna make that a public announcement. Oh, you heard it first on Replicon Radio too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, awesome man! Congratulations, brother. We had oh, him. Word. We had him on the show in the past because of love. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And he now was so he's nervous like, and shit. He was like the oh, yeah. uh, the dopest fucking. Uh, you guys, what was it? The attack of the, was it Attack of the Ninjas when you and his brother did the that live for the first yeah. time? Yeah, hell yeah! yeah it'd be yeah. all all three of us and shit. But his brother just had a kid. Also, shout out to um, shout out to um, Kelly Wolf. Hell yeah! Word up! Um, he's doing the life thing. He's doing the dad thing, which is probably more fun than anything I, I could imagine. You know what I'm saying? The dad life is cool. So shout out to him. Shout out to Cole. 
Shout to Kels, our super PR slash emailer slash motherfucking. I got an idea at two o'clock in the morning and text you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout <laughs> out to her. Hell yeah. Um, shout out to my man, the ghost. Uh, shit, man. This guy, I call him the ghost because, like, first of all, he's very elusive. He's standing right next to you, don't even know where the fuck he is. And this guy can, <laughs> he's like Merlin and shit. Like, he could just pull shit out of the air, like, yo, Lex, what you need? Like, hey, man. Um, he's actually the one who got us the line on that motherfucking, um, those, 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 those glass, um, plates that we did the glass cutouts for the, the newest record party castle I got one of them. and he's like yo check this out you like that i'm like yeah I'm like, how do you do this shit he's like yeah man i got this is this is his shit he's like yeah i know a couple people i'm like i hope it's not like illegal and shit you know what i'm saying this <laughs> like, dude's so connected but shout out to my crew man you know what i'm saying like, hey, this is bigger than this is bigger than lex man this is bigger than nino brown you know yeah. for like fucking shadow army man shadow army is the shit man a shout out to all of the crews out there we got a shadow army austria just opened up just now. You know what I'm saying? Like a week ago, we got motherfucking, um, what do they call that shit? Uh, Germany, all that shit. Um, uh, just, uh, uh, it is popping up all over the place. It's becoming a thing. Um, up in Everyone. Canada, yes. it's becoming a thing and it's getting a little bit out of my control. Um, not out of my control, but it's people who want your weapon so hard that they just like, fuck it, I'm going to do it, you know? Fuck but you. they do have to fall in with the fold, though. Um, two seconds. I'll be right back. Two seconds. Sorry. No, you good. You good, brother. Shout out to Kelly. There she is. Kelly's in the chat. What up? What up? Shadow Army in the motherfucking building. I think it's the first time a guest ever put us on hold. Shout out to Lex for that. <laughs> I believe it is. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what happened. Um, sorry, I was, I was having a glitch on my phone. It got weird. Good. So I just had to take care of that real quick, man. It's all yeah. good, man. It's all good. We're just, we're just normal people doing normal things. Shit happens. Yeah. So, so obviously, we're Mitchell, you're, you're out on the road. You're seeing all these people. You're, you're mean, you know, you're. You're checking everybody out. That's what we, I mentioned. Kobe, that's where he, he, he found him out there. Um, right. He didn't die, did he? Is he still all right? He's just slamming, he's slamming the, the cages, man. It's not like shit was blowing up. He's locked. He's locking shit. He's in the hallway. He's going down to his dungeon. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple of things I need to do real quick. I told you I got a delivery. This shit is so inconvenient. He's literally in the shadows right now. <laughs> Yes, sir. So yeah. So How many question. fucking cages Sorry. do you have on your doors and windows? <laughs> You're staying safe, man. I live in the, I live in the hood, man. I got, I got a fucking, I got a lock, I got a deadbolt, and I got one of the, you know, when you close the store and shit, that fence you bring down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Windows in front of my <laughs> like Candy Man and shit, like the Brady Green and shit. Or <laughs> this <laughs> man living in the fucking purge. Oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah, man. I'm I'm in New York City, man. You know what I'm saying? The past couple months, I can the past imagine. couple weeks has been absolutely nuts. Not bad, you man. Know? It's been absolutely You've been doing okay out there? Like, I mean, obviously, you're, you're good now. So, I mean, you made it, yeah, I, hopefully. I, I know some people, man, that's not here anymore, you know? And um, a lot of that a lot of that is what influenced the music that I'm making now, like the party cast and shit. Like, it's like you just chill and have fun kind of music, you know? Absolutely. Because... Um, you know, life is fucking rough right now, yo. We gotta wear a mask and shit all the time. It's too hot for that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, people Definitely. fucking dying. Then we got these fucking riots and shit like that and protests and cops killing motherfuckers, man. That shit is, I got a lot to say about that. I'm not gonna go into all of that if, if y'all don't want to, but I will, though, if I, could, if I had to. I mean, you, you, you can go into whatever you want, brother. This is this is your platform as much as it is ours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is your time. Yeah. Speak. So, Speak on it. But yeah, there's definitely a, there's 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 so much shit going on and it's all bad. So it's yeah. how is it how is it where you guys are? Um, like COVID, it hasn't been it really hasn't been that crazy. We're like you know we're in St. Louis. I mean, obviously we were locked down, but it, like the cases weren't that out of control. There wasn't. I mean, like all of us worked our normal jobs um, outside of Replicon. Like nobody, we were all essential. So it wasn't too crazy it was just more of an inconvenience than a scare yeah pretty much okay so it didn't it didn't it didn't hit hard over yeah there. like we just couldn't go we couldn't sit you know we couldn't go to restaurants or bars or movie theaters other than that it wasn't that crazy is it still locked down or what no they're like they're opening up a lot of, like, yeah like 50 percent capacity of places like people are going back out to restaurants and bars at, at like half capacity 
Pops actually I'm wondering just opened how it's gonna up be when it comes night. to this when it comes to the shows though, man. How's the shows gonna be? Because how do you social distance at a fucking juggalo concert? Right. right? Like are we not gonna mosh pit? Are we not gonna fucking tear that fucking venue apart? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I know they did a couple shows in Indiana last weekend, but it was okay. like a, a was small that? I capacity. Think, um, I think that was um was it K Daver? K Daver, yeah, he was at Carl's. Yeah, yeah. shout out to K Daver up there, um, New England. Thanks a lot. That's my homeboy right here. Man. I toured with him before. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a path of destruction to our tour, I believe. Yeah, may have been. Yeah. Um, and I know, I know there's a lot of tours booked in like uh, September. Right. So who knows? I know like Joe Rogan was doing stand up in Texas this weekend. So, but then at the same time, I see the news articles talking about shutdown number two. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a big scare or I don't know if we should freak out. Do we lose it? Hello? Oh, there we go. He's back. Hello? Yep, yep. I hear yeah. you now. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah. I, I would I, I would hope that right now, due to the fact that so many people haven't gone to shows in so long and um so many people are, are like dying for shows and like dying to get um back out and do concerts and um from the artists to the fans i would hope that some of the more local artists would take advantage of that and start booking shows in their own towns yeah. you know what i'm saying even when if we got 50 to 100 to 200 people that's going to come out that's still good you know like yeah, I- take this opportunity to headline your shit and um and so the next time the big tour come through your town they'll be like oh, okay we could take we could get that guy you know what i mean because yeah. now is the opportunity. People are gonna go fucking nuts. Like yep. when Twisted, next time Twisted goes out on tour, that fucking tour is gonna be nuts. Next time ICP goes out on tour, that tour is gonna be fucking nuts. Yeah. Tech Nine is gonna be fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next time I go out on tour, I believe it's gonna be fucking nuts. I think that everybody should come out to my next tour that I'm on. It's gonna be a lot of ass shaking going on. It's gonna be a lot of alcohol. Um, a lot of young ladies having a lot of fun on the dance floor and that's what i that's what i'm aiming for but and like i was saying about the music um more feel good music man because the world's depressing enough and people are angry enough and everybody's looking for a way to take out their frustration and rage i think hey man, if you're that pinned up and, and and angry and shit man go fuck man you know what i'm saying go fucking drink and go fucking have sex with somebody man you know what i'm saying <laughs> socially what? distant six feet apart <laughs> i mean hey that's why they make condoms man that's true that's true. You're, you're, you're not breathing true. out of there. Yeah, I don't know. Right man. Now it's not the time for raw sex. You fucking catch COVID and shit. <laughs> but yeah, I want that. I I hope I hope to God it, you know shit goes back to normal real soon, man. Because I know it's uh you know it's bringing everybody down. Like not just yeah, not I'm being dying able to be to, around to, people. I'm dying to go to another show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I have I probably have more fun at the shows that I don't have to perform at because I get to actually chill and just be around everybody else. You no. Know? Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that this shit opens back up and um, like really gets back to normal as, as soon as possible. Man. Right. For sure. I hope so soon. I hope so. I was I in so. England a couple of months ago. Um, and I came back from England in February, and like two weeks after I got back, they did the whole lockdown thing. Like nobody's leaving the city. Nobody's quarantined. Everybody's quarantined and shit like that. So I'm glad because I could have. I could have very well been stuck in the United Kingdom right now. Damn. Yeah, you did that. Was that that you went out there and did that the Juggalo Weekender thing? Uh, that was the first time actually I went to England. I've actually been there twice. Oh, okay. uh, first oh. time I did the Juggalo Weekender, and the second time I went, um, I went to headline a Valentine's Day show. Awesome. In February, um, and that was that was hella fun. Shout out to Dion Brutal. Shout out to Seth Two Dog. Shout out to Aaron. Motherfucking Jen and Dodge. All the homies out there. You know, um, I'm in Penguin, everybody, you know, um, super cool juggalos out there, dude. Like, you will not believe how much love they got out there and how much you can feel it, you know? You think, like, the gathering is magical? Like, it's magical out there with those kids, man. They're yeah, fucking, man. They're, they're, they are incredible. It's, the, it's, so they don't get a, it's gonna be, like, they're all of us when, when, when the COVID shit ends, because they don't get shit out there. So when they do get shit, it's like, oh my god, yes! Right. So that's how right. we're, we're all gonna be like that when shows come back, like, yes! Right, and that's why I was saying, like, yeah. yo, to you local artists that's listening, start booking your shit, so when that COVID shit lift, like, people's just gonna wanna go. Not taking it away from them and saying they wanna, for lack of a better term, people's gonna wanna go see anybody perform. Yeah. 
for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to want to go see I've said anybody. it a few times. Like, I, I mean, we ought to book a show and just go up there and sing, and they'd probably come out and see as us. As soon as they let us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sell tons of merch and shit. And right. fucking as soon <laughs> like as 500 us, tickets. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we just clown at least. As soon as they let us, I'm all about it, man. We have yeah, like three hosting love it, gigs, man. I think that is going to be so much um, yeah. love, man. I think it's going to be so easy to like hook up and shit, too, because like, Dude, while all the dudes are in the house, the chicks are in the house too. So it's like, oh god, you know what I mean? I think it's gonna be super easy for people to hook up and have fun. We're probably gonna have a baby boom after this COVID shit is over with. You know what I mean? Everybody's sure. gonna be like, I need to fuck somebody and right. go out and just stick their dick in the first thing and fucking with a whole heartbeat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so true, and it's yeah. funny because everybody's talking. All the like conspiracy people are talking about like. Uh- Gates and his depopulation shit, and now we're just gonna instead of depopulation, we're gonna have another baby boom because of fucking yeah, quarantine. First of all, we're gonna have a baby boom for the motherfuckers that have been sitting in the house for the past three yep. months, just fucking down the place. And then all the people and that then, get out, yep. And and then once once all the whores and man whores get back out of the street, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna <laughs> be like, oh my god, just can we do this right now? You know what I'm saying? There you go. So I think it's, I, as long as everybody has fun, man. You know what I'm saying? We got people. America is like I never thought I would see America like this, man. We like we're like unsure of our government right now, uh, like like openly unsure, like yeah. not conspiracy DVDs or, or YouTube channels. Like people like openly like fuck the government, fuck police, and um, the police are backing down for a lot of shit that's going on. Our crime in New York City has skyrocketed because the people are, the police are taking it back. They're like, yo, man, listen, y'all say we doing too much. We're just gonna let you guys do whatever the fuck you want to do, which is bad. Um, uh, with this disease, people are unsure. People don't want to get into cabs with each other. You can't even fucking share an Uber with motherfuckers no more. Um, no bars, no restaurants, and um, it's 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 pretty crazy right now, man. I never thought it would be like this. And once it get, it will never be the same again. They're, they're, our, our normalcy will never be the way it was f- six months ago. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or a year ago. We'll never go back to that. But I just hope that when it does break out. And I make these jokes about fucking and stuff like that. I, I do hope that when it does break out and everybody's able to go out and do whatever the fuck they want to do, I hope people have fun and realize how fucking precious life is. Because life is, I mean, between the coronavirus, between the police killing motherfuckers, between the, the, the protests, and between those, those few rioters, which are just few, maybe like 1% of the people who are actually out here burning shit down, um, I hope people realize like the, what we do have when things become normal again. And going out to the supermarket, shit like that, dude, we miss that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We miss shit like going to a bar and just having a drink. You yeah. know? Um, well, an interaction in general, man. Like, it's yeah, just human nature to be around with people. somebody at a bus stop and shit. You can't even really do that anymore. Yeah. I hope. I hope to God. Like, yeah, when the shit's over, I hope. Like, right now, every, a lot of people are in a, in a negative state of mind for whatever reason it may be with all the shit going on. So, hopefully, yeah, when we're, when we're allowed life again and, our, and, and when we feel safe about our freedoms. I hope to God right. people just have more compassion because they miss people so much. Like, I yeah, hope, hopefully that'll the, interact the, the chain, like force the change that's what goddamn country needs, you know? The, like, I mean, the shit, climate I right people. now, the climate right now, man, I mean, you get a feather on your nose and you sneeze, you might get deep the fuck up, dude. Right? For sure. <laughs> For real. I mean, yeah, you ain't lying. There's been yeah, plenty of times I've had a cra- scratchy throat and I'm like, fuck, I gotta get out of this building. Like I, dude, I was in the Uber the other day and I had to cough so bad. Though. I thought having to shit and not being able to was bad. Right. But having to cough and not being able to is fucking torturous. Bro. Yeah, it's worse. It's <laughs> worse. Yeah. It's way worse. Yeah, so we bad. just, I mean, I don't know, man. And for the juggalos out there, man, um, who's not able to go see their homies, who's not able to gather, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 I think they, 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 uh, I don't know if I don't know when the next time we're going out, you know, um, as a really big tour and stuff like that. But just like you know, hang, you know, and um, keep on keep on checking out those lives. Stay tuned to Replicon Radio and shit like that. Um, and just keep on supporting your artists, man. Support your local artists. Help them bring it out, and we could come out to a whole new music industry once all this once all this is over. For sure, no? I know. I know a ton of people are, are. I mean, obviously, people are releasing a ton of music, but I know a lot of people are stacking. A bunch of music right now like all yeah. these artists that are at home with studios for the last three four or five months like right we're gonna have right some other, take guys motivation gonna, man yeah we're gonna be bombarded with some dope shit we hope to be well, hope that's what i've been doing man. i've been writing a lot of a lot of a lot of music man. just having a lot of a lot of fun with it having a lot of fun with the response also um because people are taken to the music because it's a little more feel good i mean lex is like super aggressive scary black guy all the time 
But um, with this new mood and new tone of music, the response has really been positive, and I'm glad that it, that, it, that it's, it's, it's as positive as. It. Amen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about Party Cast. I, I was gonna talk about the strictly for my ninjas. We can go back to that. Let's talk about the yeah, Party Castle. I feel like just off of so this is part one of four. We know that. I yes. feel like just off of what we've heard from this, like you were saying, it's more fun. I feel like it's more lax. Like the lax that I've met, like you know what I'm saying. Like we, you know, we talk not on air. Like I feel like Party Castle is that lax. Like that's the dude. That we're kicking it. We're having a good time. That's yeah. That's, I, I feel like I lax. think that's why I'm having so much fun with it because I'm being because it's so it's so much more honest. It's so much more me. It's not really so much like I have to be Lex that master, Mr. Tough Guy. Okay, everybody knows I'm a fucking tough guy. Everybody knows I'm fucking lyrical, fucking New York, whatever, 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 whatever. But you meet me in person, I'm I I I think that I'm an actually fun guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm actually pretty fucking cool to hang out with. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm good company. I know. And a lot of other people do also. Um Yeah, I thought that. So yeah, I I agree and thank you for saying that also, man. I appreciate that. For sure. No, it's 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 cool. I, I, but it's not like it uh for anyone that hasn't heard it, we're gonna play some later, but it's not like it doesn't sound like Lex. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's Lex having having a good time. It's the same guy just having a good time. So Right, right. Yeah, I, I wasn't trying to completely like pull myself out and shit go all weird, you know. <laughs> you know, auto tune and shit. You know? Not yet. That's, like, that, we'll that say that for. Nah, I don't story. know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you can go auto tune now, you, you actually fuck it because auto tune's already played out. You know what I mean? So right. you can do auto tune if you fucking want. But no, you know what I mean, though, man. Like I, I wasn't trying to be anything that I wasn't. Like this is really me. Like and like you say, anybody who knows me knows this is what I'm really about. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to start fights with people and shit like that, and, and fucking shoot people all the time and shit like that. It's just like. Have Even fun, if man. he doesn't you like know? your face, he'll still have a drink with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't like my face, man, you just keep drinking. Eventually, you'll you'll be quite fond of me. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alcohol's a hell of a drug, mm-hmm. you know. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so you know, I said that to say this that um, it is more honest, man, and it is more. And I think it's a side of me that people knew in person, but they were waiting to hear on record. For sure, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's definitely. <laughs> I definitely dig it. Um, so I want to. I definitely want to talk. I was gonna try to segue it with the Shadow Army and the and all the stuff, but I definitely want to talk about the single "Sleep at Night" with our motherfucking homegirl, HB Grizzly. HB. <laughs> Word. Shout out to HB. Shout out to the whole um, Shrunken Head Entertainment, Razakel, all of them, the own music, shit like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, we're gonna get into that. What you want? What you want to know? I don't know. I want to know everything. <laughs> I like, know it all. I, we we I think we we had her on we had her on the show a few months ago, yeah. Um, right before her debut came out on Struck and Head, and she's like one. She like, literally she's like I've been telling everyone I've ever talked to. I'm like you gotta you gotta check her out. You gotta check her out. She's phenomenal. My favorite yeah. song is the song. And you were like, and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, let me get that song. And I was like, I listened. I knew you guys were collabing. I didn't know the song. And right, then I listened to right. the song. I'm like, that motherfucker. Like, I was mad and happy at the same time because it was so dope. But I was like, God, I wish I rapped. Because I would have done that two months earlier, motherfucker. Because <laughs> it was, so, no. was like, so amazing. Like, how did that yeah, come about? Like, how did you, how did it happen? Um, first of all, shout out to HB for, um, for even letting that rock. Because that is originally her song. If anybody hasn't heard that song, it's a song called, I believe it's Stay Woke. Yep. Yeah, um, off of her first record, um, you can check it out. It's everywhere, it's streaming still. You can still check out the original. However, I have heard that song, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was so fucking blown away, yo. Like, so fucking blown away. Like, wow, this girl is crazy. How did I never hear of her? Apparently, I met her before at a show. Probably but I was so up. faded. I was <laughs> faded. I didn't remember. I was like, oh, shit, you bet. She was like, yeah, man. We talked like half an hour. I was like, oh, shit, okay. Um, yeah, because so you linked us that. up with XO like a year ago. Huh? You you linked us up with Sounds of XO like over a year ago. Oh he's, yeah, he's definitely. Man. Way. And he's the homie, and he's he's fucking that dude, man. That's that's why I even sent him y'all away. Yeah, because I knew that he was gonna just fucking skyrocket. Well, like, yeah, that he guy was linked up with, with Stewart with with uh, with Red's dad, Stewart management, and all them. And so he's doing big things. But they were like together for a while. So you you may have met her like at that moment. They, uh no 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 actually it was it was prior to that this oh, okay. is a couple years back uh, i had met her and um 
it was in a show and um somehow we started talking about something and shit like that i didn't even know she sang or anything i didn't even know who she was or anything like that but um that that wouldn't that wouldn't um come up until like while we're working on this song she's like yeah we met before i'm like oh okay i meet a lot you guys understand i meet a lot of fucking people you know what i'm saying and um sometimes i don't remember because you know we'd be faded and fucked up but uh anyway um yeah i know <laughs> so i'm like this song man you know what i'm saying this song is like incredible like how would you feel about you know pulling a like a uh eminem dido kind of thing like you know what i mean like we just take the song and you know i put my own twist to it and it's still kind of be the same song you know what I'm saying? she's like uh yeah that's dope and um she sent me that she sent me the, the, the everything i needed and because nobody can move right now you know it's all corona shit you know yeah. I was a real, if, if, if in a perfect world without all this corona shit, I would have flew her to New York and have her do her fucking vocals here in the city and then send her back home. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like she her voice is that powerful. It is. So we um worked on a song. The song came out super fucking good. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was really excited about it. I was really excited about it. We got more work coming out in the future. Also, this is not the first time you heard about Lex and HB. We're definitely gonna have a lot more music coming out. You know, together. And it, shit, man. If I had it my way, I would, I would executive produce her album. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I heard this song, and it was just like, and not taking anything away from her, but a lot of people hadn't heard the song. It was on like a thousand views or something. Yeah. So I'm like, this song can fucking blow up, and that song is like that. That the remake of that song, Sleep at Night, is it, the response for that song is so incredible, and I feel like people needed that song. So shout out to her. Thank her for letting for, for for letting me even fucking do it and be on it and remake it and help it blow up to what it is right now. Sure. It, it wouldn't have. If she would have said no. I'd have been fucking heartbroken. You know. I'm glad she. It's a. It's a. It was a. It was an amazing song when she did it. It still is. I mean, so essentially, you have two versions of it. If you guys want to check it out, but like it was right, amazing right. when and she will, did it. And this will help. This but then will it was help like promote the yeah. original. Yeah. Right. Like literally, like what you said with the Eminem Dido thing, and except for if that Dido song would have been good. Yeah, that song you know was really like, terrible. Yeah, because yeah, I don't like. Really I terrible. listen to that. I'm like, what is this shit? But I love the HB. And then I was like, oh shit! Like he just fucking one upped it and made it like, oh, and it, oh yeah, it's so dope. That's what we and she's do. so amazing. And I like, you know what I mean? Like, I was glad as a fan because the song's so dope. But then I was also like, I was happy for her because obviously that's gonna help her shine since she's brand new. You know, she like she just released that, and then it's you know, I mean, obviously it's dope for you because it's, in my opinion, it's one of the dopest songs you have now. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I, I feel won. like that's one of the dopest songs I've ever made. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah. Hell yeah! And uh, again, having fun, man. Positive messages, up. Like, let's keep it. You know what I mean? Like, I got so excited, I dropped the microphone. He karate chopped that bitch. <laughs> I was like, it's so dope, for ya! I love. Let's, it. Let's, let's I get hype. That, it's hype, man. I'm like, I get for some like. There's, there's like I love most. Well, no, I love a lot of music, but then there's some shit that comes along. I just, just gets me so hype and like it makes me so happy, and that's one of them. Like even talking about how dope it is makes me happy. Like right. I'm just like yeah, shit's dope. Party cat. How, how do you feel about the rest of the record? I love the rest of the record, but I've listened to that song probably three hundred times more. If I have to be right. completely honest, it's like it's one of those like. Uh, but I have an addictive. Uh, personality like if i eat a chicken sandwich and it's good i'm probably gonna eat it six more times that week oh yeah me too man that's why i don't even do drugs like i never even <laughs> right. tried them because if i like them i'll be like on it dude like whatever happened to lex like <laughs> yeah. the rehab picture and shit my hair's all fucked up he and tried shit, it once. You know what i mean <laughs> yeah. i look tired half my paint is like wiped off and shit Absolutely. so like i don't want to be end up that guy <laughs> so yeah i feel you so that's I mean, how i, I am like with something. sleep at night it's my drug lately Right, damn! Thank you, man. Thank you for that. Hell yeah, it's good. But no, the Hell rest yeah. of it's dope. I, I mean, I love um, a lot of the tracks you released as singles, and we didn't even know the party castle was coming. So, like, I've I've enjoyed it along the way without even knowing. Right, like uh, right. the count and chill mode, and what was it? Hypnotize. I love that beat. It reminds me of something, and I couldn't remember what it was. But every time it comes Ooh. on, I think it's something else. Cause it's, right, it's we're, 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 I'm actually working familiar. on part two already. Episode two is already getting ready. Um, we're already in the middle of recording that, so we're gonna get that out in the next two, three months. Awesome. So we're, I was we're, gonna ask you about that. So the whole, so it's been a little bit since we heard from Lex. Um, uh, where did the the party castle? First of all, the idea come from, and then the decision to do the the four part series. Like, how did that whole concept come about? Right, because. Um, 
people don't really buy albums anymore. No, people like that quick fix. So I'm like, okay, let's give them four quick fixes. You know, uh, a lot of people. I'm pretty sure there's people that think like, oh, you just recorded an album. He's gonna release it in four parts. No, I um, Party Castle was was um, recorded independently. Um, the next episode will be recorded independently. All of these are gonna go with the same mood, like like four different albums. Okay. Yeah, that's um, what I was gonna, like when I when you announced it, I like you know what I mean. When you hear something, you have your own idea what it is before someone tells you what it is. So I was like, yeah. oh shit, it's gonna be like different rooms inside the party castle. We're gonna get like chill lex. We're gonna get like party lex. We're gonna get like dubstep <laughs> lex, and we're gonna get after party. <laughs> exactly. Maybe like, even after the, party lex. You get to know the absolutely. But instead of a room, it's gonna actually be a whole kingdom, whole part kingdom. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So we got one castle. Now we're gonna have another. Then we're gonna have another. Then we're gonna have another. And then we're gonna get to the final act with the. Uh, you have, to, you have to face the Shadow King the himself. One. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna tie it all together. We're gonna nail it all up. You know what I'm saying? Or we're gonna let people. And then at the very end, it's gonna be like, we're sorry, your Lex is in another castle. Ah, oh, damn right. it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not gonna hit him with a. Uh, we're sorry, we lied to you. I'm not gonna hit him with one of those though. But <laughs> we're definitely. <laughs> we're not. Sorry we're definitely to gonna um, have a lot of fucking fun because I'm having a lot of fun making it. Um, so um, we're definitely gonna have a lot of fun, and I want I want the juggalo world to have fun. fun. Uh, I know I came into the the scene at a, at a really um, awkward and uh, in a time of a lot of disarray. Um, right. With the whole you know, split and everything like that. So when I look at the older footage before there was a like before like the thing, um, not that I caused anything, but I didn't come in in the golden era of yeah. the Juggalo scene. So when I look back at the, the golden era of the Juggalo scene, um, that's how I want them to be. I want people to have fun. I want people to be accepted and not really give a shit and not um, uh, cyber bully each other or, uh, or or just just give each other shit just because you like. ICP or because you like twisted, like fuck all of that, man. People, people, motherfuckers is dying out here. Whether they was twisted or ICP fans, this motherfuckers out here dying. Right. Whether they black or they white, that fucking COVID shit did not discriminate on what kind of music you like or how your face look. You know what I'm saying? So fuck all of that. Let's get back to having fun. Let's make some more of these fucking these hits, man, and shake some more asses, dude. You know what I mean? Hell fuck yeah. the bullshit. Fuck yeah, or, man. Let's have some fun, and some positivity, and let's love each other. Word I up. agree, man. One hundred percent. I'm excited too. Help each other feel good. Let's help each other feel good. Absolutely, man. You know, we do. We do. Uh, people do such a good job. Such a good job. A great fucking job at making each other feel terrible. We can take that same energy and do and and, and do all we can to make each other feel good. I agree. Work. I agree. Let's let's all try to do our best to, to make people feel Absolutely. good. Absolutely. We ain't got to be passing out fucking flowers and shit. You know what I'm saying? And doing <laughs> stupid shit. Well, uh, you can if you'd like. I mean, you can, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, why not? I, the first time I was in England, this old, like, gypsy lady came up to me and shit like that, and she was um, she's clearly, like, a poor lady and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm talking, like, a legit movie gypsy, too. Like, she had the shit on her head and all that. I was like, oh, wow, it's crazy. The earrings, I'm like, wow, this is a real gypsy. So um, she was selling flowers and shit, man, and, um, like, roses. And I just, like, I was like, you know, just give me the whole lot, man. Just let me, let me buy all them shits, you know what I'm saying? And I just bought all of them. And just gave them to all the fucking girls out there in, in the show, you know, just like whether you was with a guy or not, it doesn't matter. Girls like roses, girls like flowers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fuck them. I just want to give them flowers, you know what I'm saying? And if if, if, if me giving you flowers means that I'm going to fuck you, then I probably shouldn't give you no flowers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. Because you're probably just fucking people, you know. But, um, made that simple yeah, thing. so made just all shit day. like that, man. Little shit, man. That's yeah. not going to change the world, but it's going to change somebody's day, right? Yep. That's, I mean, and that's if everybody did something that could change everybody's days, that might change the world. Right? You know change my day. Help me out. Absolutely, man. That's what's up. I stepped in a big hot pile of shit earlier. I wish somebody would come and fucking like, hey, you know what? That means good luck, man. I, I was like, fuck, I just I stepped in <laughs> shit. I don't like it. Right? You know? Or they just walked up and handed you a rose and said, here you are, sir. No, nah, there was a guy across the street with his phone out. That's what happened. <laughs> Bastard. You're gonna be a world star, dog. You just stepped in shit. Like, you could have told me the shit was there. You obviously seen it was there. You see me walking towards it. You were recording. You your phone. <laughs> Waiting. <Bastard. Yeah. laughs> Motherfucker, that's terrible. So, the part, part, party and our part, I keep saying party, party castle yeah. part one just came out. And uh, you mentioned earlier you, you had uh, some dope merch items with the drop. You did the uh, the etched glass uh, thing. I don't know what to call it. Etched glass art. 
the yeah. glass cutout thing. That's what we call it. I don't know what they <laughs> call it. Either. Whatever, I got one. There was only 12 but, of them, and I got one, and it's dope. Yeah, I mean, it's just sold out in like an hour, man. I was real hyped about that. Um, yeah. well, alongside with that, we got the um, the jerseys that just Jersey. came out. Those are those are nearly sold out, actually. Hell yeah, they sold really good. Lex the um, Hacksmaster's first damn hockey jersey in like first six motherfucking years jersey dude, shit, in the middle of it. June when it's hot than a bitch. And, and people still out. buying them though. Hell yeah, we still buying them. Um, so wait till the next one drops in another five years. And it's cold out. I hope not, man. I hope not. I hope I hope we get to, we keep that shit going and and we um because <laughs> I mean you live and you learn. With every piece of merch that you put out that works or don't work, you learn something. It's not gonna research. You know what I'm saying like, okay, sure. people didn't like that. So like this. It's like so um I believe it was George came to me with the like, yo, what you think of this? I was like, I, I sent it to a couple people because I don't really wear jerseys like that. Yeah. So I sent it to a couple people. I sent it to my brother. You know what I'm saying? I sent it to a couple of the Shadow Army crew people. And it was like, yo, it's dope. I was like, okay. I pressed the button on it. Cool. So I was like, yeah, it's dope. Shoot it out. And uh, once we announced it, it just went fucking nuts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The material's good. Um, it, it's a strong chair. It's not no cheap shit. Um, it's not going to fade in the first time you watch it. No, uh, I, don't those, those sub- I don't think those things fade at all, really. Yeah, no, because they actually it is the material, I believe. Some yeah. ill shit like that. Some 2020 yeah. shit, man. Sub- I'm so in the past. Yeah. Living in the future. It's like the Jetsons and shit. But um, it's so... Um, we got the, the jerseys. We got the um, the new t-shirts, which it's always going to be a t-shirt and shit like that. Yeah, um, what I've right been now. what I've been talking more about with the, with the, um, with the office is I asked about how's the CDs doing? How's the music doing? You know what I'm saying? Because you got some artists who come out with some really dope merch, but their music never moves. Yeah. You know, you may as well stand on the side of the highway and sell fucking T-shirts, you know, and f- say forget about rap. So I want people to like the music because once they buy them, like the music, they'll buy the merch. You know, um, we got some new hoodies coming out. Those are going to be fucking nuts. Um, the bandanas just came out, I believe, yesterday or day before yesterday. You know, those are doing really well also. Everything seems to be on the up and up. And um, the only way to keep it that way is to, is to continue, continue with the momentum and to continue to release dope music. Fuck yeah, man. People have been hype, man. People people miss you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I miss the people. <clears throat> people miss you. And they're like, oh, shit, Lex is back. Oh, shit, Lex has this. Oh, shit, he's got this. Oh, God, he has this too. Oh, my God, it's a jersey. Oh, fuck, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. Well, you know, and you know what's crazy about that? About that, people are saying, "Oh, Lex is back! Lex is back!" I've been doing shows, spot dates, all of that shit, man, for the past like three years, all year, at least once a month, yeah, in different cities and different different states. Well, yeah, I, mean, I even never went to England people. twice, and I haven't released Beyond Redemption since 2017. But I've been out of the country to perform twice, paid for it. I didn't pay to go out there. But you've, you I know, mean, so I, yeah, I you never left. There. It's just people get, you know what I mean? There's so much, especially nowadays, like you mentioned, people don't, you know, a lot of people aren't buying albums anymore, especially not full right. albums. So much music. You know, we, I, I see it so much because we have, we talk about it every week, but right. you know I mean, there's a hundred fucking new singles every week, at least. That's just right. underground shit. Not, right. main, you know what I mean? So there's music is just constantly being thrown at us. So if Lex didn't put a, a single out in the last three months, then Lex is coming back when he does. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's a return again. So like just how people's yeah. minds work. Yeah, and I think that's why I, I, I want to do the four part. You know what I'm saying? Thing because I can release a whole album. I can release a whole LP today, and you don't have to hear from me for another three years. Yeah, yeah, we four don't want years. that. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep hitting them with the with the small doses, and um, and, and people will people will remain interested. For sure. I'm, just glad, I'm just glad that they're interested because what's a what's a comeback and nobody cares? Like, oh yeah, Lex. Oh, okay, no doubt. <laughs> Don't it's call cool. it a comeback. I met him. He's a dickhead. You know, <laughs> like it would it would have been real sucky if people would have just not gave a shit. But I'm glad that they gave a shit. And I'm glad that they're excited about it because that excites me more. And, and and when someone tells me that I'm doing well, it makes me want to do better. So if you like this one, you're gonna love the next one. Fuck you know? yeah, man. Well, that's I was gonna say that earlier. Like it's it's excited for me as a fan of you with the you know what I mean because I know a lot of people are doing the that like you mentioned. Oh, he's got a full album. He's just releasing. That's like this. Shout out to Strange, but that's like their that's like their framework now. Like we are we already know oh, wow. every album's coming out like that. We're gonna get three right. EPs, maybe a fourth one, and then oh, here's the full one. It's the same. But right. it keeps. No, you- that's actually that's absolutely that hadn't even crossed my mind until somebody I seen it in a comment like, oh, he's just gonna break the album into four parts. Like I, I'm actually working on four different mind frames yeah. right now. I'm actually working on four different attitudes. I'm actually going through four different fucking personality traits. Right no, this is not just one thing. I'm just throwing it all out. But like, that's kind of a jack move a little bit. You know what I mean? That's it's totally not of. what I'm doing. I was in the studio <laughs> earlier today working on episode two. 
and doing features and shit like that because I'm doing a lot of these features right. I'm doing features for the low because the first one's out. I got a little bit of time between this one and the next one, so I'm like, okay, let me knock some features out. I know a lot of people were hitting me up while I was working on the album because if you remember, there was a time where I had shut up heaven. Like I was like, I'm not doing no features right now until this project is done. You know, so now this project is out. It's in rotation. It's getting good response. Now I can start, you know, helping other people get their music out there, and help them make even dumber music. So, yes, I'm absolutely working on episode two right now. It's not recorded already. I'm not sitting on it and fucking waiting and and making people anticipate. No, I'm actually working on it. I'm actually sweating in my fucking studio, but it's good because I need to lose weight anyway. That's awesome because that means we're gonna get current. You know what I'm saying? You get cur- you don't get. You know what I mean? You're not you're getting the music recorded a year ago. Like that. Sometimes you can tell that stuff. Not always, yeah, but sometimes absolutely. you can. Sometimes you can. Absolutely. I mean, chill mode. Chill mode was a song that I did like a year ago. You know what I'm saying? But it never ended up anywhere. Yeah. So I was like, and the response for that song was really large, also. So I'm like, let me just put that on this project because it's it's gonna help boost it. You know what I'm saying? I had the video already in the chamber, so I was like, let's 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 release it at um at at Netfest. You know, that was a good idea, and that helped the album take off even more. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that was a dope video. He was chilling, eating that lobster. I was super <laughs> chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Lobsters is shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I um, don't, but I know people like it. Uh, but it's, uh, what I was going to say, it's exciting because, like, you know, like you were mentioning, like, your introduction to the Juggalo world. One of the things, like, with Juggalos, especially back in the day, was, like, the Joker cards with ICP and different things like that and it gave people something to look forward to so now i feel like this is this is lex is something to look forward to you know what i mean because before it was just like oh I hope, when we get a new one when do we get a new one when do we get a new one now it's like when's part two when's part two you know what i'm saying right. we got part two three and four so we have we know for a fact that we have three new eps at least to look forward to from lex we don't have to wait and wonder what the next one is or if you're doing it or if you're working on something you know what I mean? And every Juggalo's like to talk. You know what I mean? Like, is he off the label? Is he on the label? What's he right. doing? Blah, 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 <laughs> right. blah. But no, he's got three more EPs he's working on. Calm down. Right. You know what he's and doing. It, and it gives me something to do for like the rest of the year and shit. Like, it gives me something. It gives something to occupy my mind, you know, and look forward to also. I love it. I love the response. The good ones. I don't feel bad. I don't feel good until I, I see somebody who like didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I seen a, um, uh, a review the other day, and this guy—I think the guy just didn't like me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really talk shit about the music. He just kind of talked shit about me. So um, that means people are listening, though. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You're nobody until until you got like people. Who, I, I don't want to call them haters because I don't think a person who has an opinion that is against mine is a hater. That's bullshit. Um, just Some naysayers, just people who don't like it. It's like, okay, cool. Because if I go through a person's comments, they, they got 50,000 views, but they got 10 comments, and all the comments are cool, that probably that person probably either bought those views or those are just his friends. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Word. For sure. Yeah, everybody's, everybody has something to say. Some people do just hate to hate, but... Yeah, I mean, say it, man. I, I think the world would be a better place if people just spoke their mind, man. Shit, not hold it in. This is where the frustration comes from. This is where the explosion of anger is coming from. Because can't nobody say shit. Right. You got to be politically correct online. You got to be politically correct on Facebook or they'll, or they'll send you to Facebook jail. You know? I've That's been there bullshit. many, many times. Yeah, uh, to yeah, Facebook man. jail, I mean, but not, not for hate, but like just going to Facebook jail. I mean, not even so much hate, but... I mean, you don't even have to say something hateful. You can say something that's considered hateful, but it's really just your opinion. I don't really give a shit about your opinion. I got my own. I get thrown in for memes a lot. (laughs) Huh? I get thrown in for memes a lot. Uh, Some of the memes, though, man. I've seen some memes. I was going to see some Lex memes that was like, you know, I got to laugh. That was so ruthless and terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was hilarious, though. (laughs) Yeah, some of the shit, but, you know, you got to laugh at yourself. You got to be able to laugh at yourself and laugh at fucking idiots too i guess right that's what i'm doing i'm learning to like hey stop stop taking yourself so serious right you know what i'm saying for sure right. unless you're recording because then you need to be serious but yeah yeah and even <laughs> then it's like i don't have to be mr murderer fucking bash your face in the i love it I'm, okay. I'm so excited for party more party castle and like you said if people think it's you, you know if someone says you're doing good you got to do better so so you're fucked after uh part oh. one buddy <laughs> Like, right. you got to do better sure. somehow. I don't know how you're. Good luck. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? I have faith I'm in you. It. I'm just saying you got you got your work cut. You're making your work cut out. Right. 
Yeah, there, there's there are some situations where artists have released something so dope and it's like nowhere to go but down because they can't follow up with it. You know? No, I don't think. No, you're, you've. I mean, you. I don't think you've put out anything bad, and you're steady putting stuff out. Like we mentioned earlier, a comeback or whatever. But like people, people just. I don't. People don't necessarily pay attention because you. A lot of the stuff you put out wasn't like. Uh, it wasn't like the next new big release. Like Party Castle's been like, this is coming, it's coming, it's coming, pre-order. But along the way, we had Strictly for My Ninjas. We had Mr. Ugly 2. We had the, uh, uh, what was the other project you did with, uh, with the home, the whole, the Trinity of Terror or whatever? No, I don't know the Trinity, yeah. So, yeah. Like, I mean, you put out a ton of projects. It just, you know I mean? And obviously, we had Contact, Beyond Redemption uh, in the first one. So, I mean, that's a, you've put out a ton of shit in the last few years. It's not like you ain't been yeah, doing we, shit. We gotta, we gotta go hard and go home, you know what I'm saying? Just go around. Like, it's okay to keep releasing, keep releasing a lot of music, but, I mean, it, it's working hard and it's working smart. And nowadays, me and my crew are working smart, you know? And um, it's okay to put out a lot of music. But oh, you good, can yeah. oversaturate yourself also. Just like people are like, oh, okay, there's another record joint. But yeah, well, you've been doing, like I said, you've been doing different shit. So it's, everyone's not like, oh, he's putting out another album again. It's like he hasn't been around for a while, but it's actually, no, he has. It's just doing different avenues. And, you know, like Strictly for My Ninjas, you brought in a bunch of unknown cats to try to lift them up. Plus, right. you know, super fresh remixes and stuff. Yeah, they are some real good ones. So is that, is that something you, uh, you know, we kind of started out with that, talking about the Shadow Army and you... Uh, finding other artists and helping other artists and obviously you've done that with hb on this on this ep you, that was the idea behind strictly for my ninjas is there do you plan on doing like another type of strictly for my ninjas or doing things with the shadow army is like you know putting up artists through shadow army or anything like that in the line yeah i got a couple people right now that i'm, that I'm actually um working on see a lot of a lot of artists are, are, are dope um musicians but um some of them are not good entertainers you know, um, so I say that to say this: that you can kick super dope lyrics all you want, but what's gonna make people remember you? You don't have to be funny and shit and be a fucking performer and shit. But um, what is gonna make people remember you? What's gonna separate you from every other artist that they see? And this is what we're working on right now. We're actually in an artist development phase right now. While I while I get my feet down and get and get and get back into my position that I was that I'm in right now, <coughs> I'll, I'll I'll keep pushing that so we can. Um, when it is time for us to start releasing albums at Shadow, I'm not necessarily Magic Ninja. Once it is time for us to start setting out artists and setting them up and, and getting their music out there, they'll be in a good position. But I can help them get into a good position. But definitely, I would say, really go less than three though. Less than three. Less than three artists? Yeah. Shout out to my homeboy Skulls. You know what I'm saying? Skulls Crazy World on Instagram. Also, um, he's repping hard out there in the Dakotas, you know, for the native homies. Shout out to all the native homies too. I think I get a lot of love from them. Um, but yeah, we got some, we got some, we got some strong shit coming out, man. You know what I'm saying? Strong shit. I'm when excited. it comes to other artists, and one, once those other artists are coming out, you're not gonna hear from me. They're gonna have their room. Maybe I'll be on a single or two and be promoting their album, but I don't want to clash and like, you know, because it's easy for some things to overshadow other things so i'm not a woman i feel you hell yeah i figure i mean i know you're always you're always up to something you're in the shadows you're lurking in the shadows you're the shadow king That's so cool. i knew you got some shit i knew you had some shit going on even though you may tell me so definitely man wait till episode two wait till episode two wait till wait till episode four you're gonna hear a couple of these guys as these episodes go because I'm starting to work them into the scene a little bit more, work them into the routine a little bit more. So you're gonna start seeing and hearing from these guys a lot more. Um, well, for the first time, really, they'll be introduced to the world for the first time. So it's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna, gonna, gonna start rising. And, uh, you're absolutely fucking crazy. Dope. Fuck yeah, man! I can't wait. I can't wait to see the people you want to present because I know they're gonna be dope because. You clearly have an ear for talent, and uh, if anybody doesn't believe that, just go check out Strictly For My Ninjas or any of his other projects and the features from probably artists you didn't hear of before that. So, right, and producers too. Shout out to Poetics. Shout out to Prime Beats. Um, shit, man. Fritz the Cat. Um, everybody knows Godson. He's like fucking Dr. Dre and shit. You're listening to a Godson uh, beat in the background right now. 
Yeah, he's a fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the homie right there. Shout out to him. Jake Palumbo. Jake Palumbo, right now. I got a surprise me and Jake Palumbo. Jake Palumbo got a surprise for you, motherfuckers, coming out too. Oh, that's right. So, you know, the shit that me and him are working on, we got a surprise for you, motherfuckers, coming out too. So, the shit that me and him are working on, oh, God. Oh, that's going to be monstrous. Man. He's dope. He's a beast. You, you linked us up with him too. We had him on the show a while back. Yeah, yeah, he's and, good. Jake Palumbo's a genius, man. He's been helping me with so much information, so much knowledge um, in this music industry, man. Um, knowledge is the most precious thing that you can get from that you can pass on to anybody, and he's just been doing that, man. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of we had a lot of people that uh, they may not have necessarily like enjoyed his style of music, um, yeah. but they 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 went they his he does a lot of informational shit. Like he he'll tell you about the music industry. He'll tell you what you need to do as an upcoming. Like he does a whole yeah. thing on it almost daily about things to help up and coming artists, producers, whatever it is you're doing. He's he's just trying to help people, and it's that's super dope. Hey, a lot of people won't do that. Yeah, a lot of people want to be gatekeepers and and hold the keys to the fucking city. Like that's not how it works, man. That's not how the music industry goes. That's not how it should go. That's how it goes, absolutely. But that's not how it should go, yeah. in my opinion. I think it should be people out here helping. Um, everybody's not going to be super rich. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to be a platinum artist. But there are going to be um, some artists that that uh, that will break through that gate. And why not help them, man? Absolutely. Because they'll probably help somebody else. And while you're at it, help you your know? independent underground podcast as well, because they don't have anything yeah, to do Yeah, even, even guys like you guys, man. You guys are like, <laughs> what the, the, fucking no, you guys are literally like the bloodline of, of the underground. We try, you know man. Um, we, 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 we wouldn't be the same. Some people wouldn't even know that we were releasing albums without guys like you guys. That's because we love it. Because we like, who, God, who was that other guy's name? Ray Pearson? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Ray Pearson. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, we had him on the show, too. That dude was dope. Fuck yeah. That guy is super dope. I met him when I did the Grime Mode Cypher, also. Um, word. Shout out to. Um, why can I think of him right Word. Shout out to Grime Mo Cyphers, and um, they are doing incredible work right now, man. Um, really incredible work. But I met Ray Pearson there, yeah, and he was uh, dope. those they... guys treated me real good too, man. Um, everybody that was on there, Gibby Sites, um, Gibby's the homie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Poet on drugs. Um, yeah, what's the guy's name? Why well, can't I think of his fucking name right now, man? I got his number in my phone too. <laughs> Well, guys I, I feel you. It's not hate. It's just there's so much. Who was the other guy that he said those? There's so much stuff. The guy on the guy was goes the, the, the leader of Brian Mo Cipher and shit. He said that's not uh, Jerry. Jake. We really talked about him. Uh, yeah, but we going on that. Yeah, yeah so. I don't know. Brian Mo. Probably edit that part out or something. <laughs> it's live. We're live. Oh well, fucking. Right. <laughs> we'll uh, but it's that's the homie though. He took care of me. He reached out to me and shit like that. <laughs> Word. Shout out to Chuck Reeves too. He he helped uh, link that up. Shout out to um, Dylan up in um, the six five six homies. He's actually one who, who really hooked that um, hooked me up with the with the home play. And um, yeah, lingo, lingo. Why did that just go to just now? Lingo. lingo. Yeah, I know lingo, right? From Brian Mo Cipher. I don't know him. Well, he's a good dude. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna send him y'all way. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, his bars are fucking dope. He's an excellent businessman. Um, yeah, and he just took care of me, man. Make sure I was good. Hell yeah, word. That's what's up, man. Oh, okay, yeah, all, it's cool because like, it's, 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 I I just wanted to plug those people because I well, again I wanted to comment on the fact that you're sending these people our way and the fact that you're working with those people and those people have the same you know kind of dealings that you do. Like we're here to help each other. We're here to bring each other up. We're not we're not competing. Right. We're we're here to help each other. Like, let's let's love each other. Back to the love, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I love the music. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Not like the industry, you know? Um, love the fucking sound. Love the shows. Love Shout the out records. to Stir Crazy in the chat room. We love that dude, too. Shout out to Stir Crazy. He just sent me some super sick shit um, a couple weeks ago, man. And he's definitely going to be popping up on on on, um, on this series of, yeah. of EPs also. For real. Him, Charlie Beans, also. Don't word. But yeah, Stir Crazy, he's been sending me a series of like consecutive beats and shit like that because he's, he's hungry, man. Oh, yeah. Trying to get out there. Guys like Stir Crazy will go that extra mile. He produced a lot, a lot, a lot of shit on the fucking um, Strictly for My Ninjas record. Uh, he, yeah, he's, he's These are the produced I need to be probably around. most These of the, the underground music anybody listens to and they don't even know it. Like, that dude's uh-huh. a beast. I said, he's. 
probably produced half of the underground music people listen to and they don't even know it. Right. I mean, these are the people that I like to be around. Those guys that are out, that are hungry, bro, that eat raw fucking meat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they they trying to get their name up. They trying to get themselves out there. And as he's evolving with the beats, his beats are getting incredible, like like way doper every time he sends me another bundle of beats. Fuck it. And I appreciate that. Shout out to Stir Crazy in this motherfucker, man. Give him a round of applause. Amen. Yeah. Uh, woo, woo, woo. Bro. I yeah. love that dude. I love that dude like a brother for real. Like I love that man. Word up. Because he's not only does he work hard, he's also extremely positive and uh Oh, see so that's what I like. Some people hear. work hard and they're still dickheads. Yep. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You'll like, be, you'll be surprised. Man. You'll be surprised. <laughs> you are absolute fucking Fuck yeah, man. sausages, man. Word. Amen. So I'm Pump Man. Party Castle Part Episode Part One is out right now. Go buy it. Mnestore.com. There's still a few jerseys left. Get a T-shirt. Get a bandana. Hopefully more. Obviously, since the merch is drop selling, hopefully there's more, man. I know people are now that you finally got a hockey jersey. I see the internet clamoring for a fucking an actual embroidered jersey. So, right. so we'll get one of those, Winokur. Yep. Listen right. up, sir. <laughs> right. <laughs> the kids want nah, we'll embroidery. Sure we got, we'll make sure we hook you guys up, man. We'll make sure you hook, we hook you uh, hook Replicon up with something. I'll take you one. Know what I'm saying, even if it's an early edition of the next project right. or something Two. like that, we'll make sure we hook you. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's and I'm saying that live on the radio, so I can't bullshit later. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I know it's like that. We're gonna cut. Yeah, we're gonna. We're just gonna cut that out and replay it on every episode. Until <laughs> right. you remember yeah, when he like said this? Oh, oh, remember when he said that? I mean, clearly right. we'll take it, but you don't need to give us nothing because you've already given us enough. Oh, man, we got Aww. to take care of each other, man. We gotta make sure that happens. Sure, man. I, can't, I just can't wait to see you with, again. With that being said, we're going to need three because Pete doesn't take care of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it hurts, Word. but it's true. Yeah, it hurts, <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, I got you, guys. Well, I'm going to something nice. Right <laughs> That's all good. So the part one's out now. Everybody just uh, look forward to part two. Do you? I mean, obviously, you're working on it now. Do you have any idea of when you hope to possibly maybe put part two out? When part one people get tired of hearing part one and put part two up yeah it'll be out before part two even it'll be part two will be out before part one even yeah. there you go that's all that's even better I like it's gonna be out fuck yeah man fire. I'm excited I mean I'm pumped I love it we're gonna play some of it and some other uh, some little older Lex for everybody to bump just in case y'all aren't versed on Lex the Hex Master um while y'all sitting in your house, it's just chilling, listening to Replicon, man. Jam off some fucking good music. Absolutely, right. there's still there's all kinds of dopeness. Um, here actually, we we decided we're gonna start doing something different. Okay. So we're you're gonna be a part of it. So essentially, we have a playlist for our guests. We, you know, obviously we we talk to you and we want to play the music so people can hear that we're talking about. So I'm gonna tell you what is on your playlist, and you can tell me either a if um there's like a fun story or something behind one of the tracks or B okay. if you want me to fucking remove something or put something you'd rather um, put on there but now was that find the play. Last part, was that? like if you'd rather have something else besides what I have on there <clears throat> so I got sleep at night obviously we got to start it off like that so everyone's just immediately right. blown away you might want to put that one last though I could, I could do that yeah. um, sleep at well, this is actually I have a long playlist I don't know if we'll play it all but uh, Sleep at Night, Hypnotized, The Blood Mix from Strictly for My Ninjas. Blood Mix was actually um, done for a movie called Blood Mix that's coming out next year. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah. That's actually the soundtrack for a movie. If you hear it, it's actually a story. Um, a movie called Blood Mix. Watch out. Uh, go to Instagram and check out Blood Mix Movie. And that's the name of the Instagram. Yeah, you'll see that it's actually a film coming out for Blood Mix. That's awesome. Maybe we'll hit them up. We do. I don't know if you know this, Lex the Hexmaster, but we do. We get early screenings of movies and we do movie reviews and interview the cast and directors of movies all the time. Yeah, what? I actually went to an early uh, one of the versions of the early screening uh, last year, um, and it was pretty dope. I never been to a red carpet and shit like that. I was on a red carpet, right? You know what I'm saying? With the face mask, the suit on, and shit. You know I think I, I think you shared a picture of that. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting my Lady Gaga on and shit. <laughs> right. Next time you have to wear the meat suit. Yeah, well, I just have the meat out for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, there you go. I can't wear a meat suit, but I got some meat for you. Though. I got the meat out. You know what, I'm uh, what do we got here? Raw shit. The the re, the remix with Madrox. The OG yeah. bomb on him. I don't like your okay. face. My favorite. One of my fit. Well, my I guess my second favorite now. Lex song. Dance in Eternity. 
Oh yeah, Destiny Sunday. I had did that song. I actually did that song a long time ago and re-recorded it for that album. That's not even the original beat or anything like that. But those lyrics I had written a long time ago. I felt like they were still relevant at the time, or even relevant now. They are. Um, those songs I like to do. I don't want to overdo it because those are some of my favorite songs to do. But those songs can be exhausting sometimes to do because it's, it's, you got to put a lot of emotion into it and a lot of feeling into it, and it makes you revisit certain things. In certain situations that you probably don't want to revisit that's this is what makes us good musicians yeah. this is why some actors have to go through therapy after playing certain roles and shit like that because you actually have to get back into that mode that moment and um and that's why that song is really important to me also i, I love that song also yeah that's, that's an amazing song I, ha- I had to put it like i was listening i generally go through the day and i listen to you know what you know i'm like what should i put on there obviously i gotta put the new shit but then i'm like what else i'm like that's my that's literally that was my favorite lex song for since eternity so that was mine and then i got uh, i got last night and uh little girl big mouth from kung fu vampire in you so shout out to kung fu vampire and this motherfucker too that guy <laughs> i love that guy man he's so headstrong and focused and um he and i don't know if you met him in real life but he's oh, yeah. so no bullshit like uh um, but he's really cool though Every time we're in, every time I'm in, I'm in California, man. He takes us to like the illest places to eat and shit like that, man. Shout out to Kung Fu, man. Yeah, I Kung love Fu. That guy. He's a, he's another one of them dudes. Him and Buckshot, like those. Uh, I think shout they, out to Buckshot. Those dudes have been on man. our show more than anyone, I think. I mean, Buckshot anyone called has. me. <laughs> Buckshot is one of the people. Uh, a couple people called. Dad. Shout out to Donnie Menace. These guys like called me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like during this whole Corona, but like, yo, I know you're in New York. Shout out to you out, seeing how you doing. You know what I'm saying? No music shit, just like. What's up, okay, homeboy? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you alive? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tiny Minutes. Shout out to Scum. Shout out to Buckshot. Shout out to everybody who shouted me out, man, and just, okay. like, gave me a call and shit like that. These are genuine. But I, I got genuine friends that I've met through this music industry and shit, man. I love these guys, man. Word. Hey, Amen. All good-ass people, man. For sure. Yeah. That's what, I'm glad we agree on all the good people. <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to mention the dick You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, Party Castle episode one out now. You missed out on the dope etched glass, but you can still get a jersey, shirt, bandana, more shit to come. We gotta make more next time because I'm just so like too fast. That's one of that's that's what made me buy it. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, shit, there's only twelve. Boop, one's mine. Like, (laughs) right. (laughs) Right. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for that shit. And we gonna have more though. We gonna have we gonna have some 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 cool shit so that you get the next one. Fuck yeah. Because it's it's gonna be different. Hell yeah! Well, um, I don't think we get. If anybody in the chat room has any questions or anything they want to spit out before we uh, let the man get back to his life, man, I can't believe. I swear to God, I can't believe it's been fucking two and a half years. Like, yeah, that's yeah, nuts. I know. I was it like, doesn't what? Even feel like it either, man. I'm like, we have him on all the time. What do you mean? Right. <laughs> I even asked the guy. I was like, is this right? Like, I was like, are we? Did we fuck up? Did we like rename an episode or something? Like, holy shit! Right. Ah, but it doesn't even feel like it, man, because life moves so fast these days, you know? Years go by, like like months, you know? For sure. Yeah. Turn around. I saw, you, at, I saw you at Attack of the Ninjas. Was that Halloween? Or Halloween Eve at uh, yeah. St. Andrews. You and uh, yeah, that was Kobe pretty dope. were out there. I think the last fun. time I saw you in real life. You're far yeah, right off. That's the last time. That's the last show I've done with, with, the, oh, was it? with the whole label and everything. Ooh. Hell yeah! Well, hopefully, man. Hopefully, uh, life comes back to normal soon, and we'll see you out there on the road again doing some shit. Oh, you know. Who knows what's gonna yeah. happen? Um, We're definitely gonna chill and eat some shit, and talk some shit, man. Okay. Sure. Kelly's favorite is hypnotized, and she has officially requested it. Oh, it was the second one. It's on the list. You missed it. Yeah, hell yes, on the list, man. <laughs> I would have told you like where's the I was like, wait, I just looked to go look, and I was like, wait, that's number two on my list. You just weren't paying attention. They were too busy, <laughs> too busy <laughs> pole dancing, girl. Huh? Right. <laughs> now, shout out to Kel. She's the homie. Fuck yeah. Um, does a lot of great work for me in the organization, man. Like tirelessly. So, yeah, shout out to her, man. She just won a competition, also. Um, a sports, yeah, I saw a, that. A sporting event and shit like that. Just got Congratulations! So, shout out to that. Shout out to Kels. Give Kels yeah. a round of applause. Yes. Yeah. And she gave us a dope photo to use for a flyer. Last time yeah, she did that, it turned into a she t-shirt. She takes a lot of those photos. <laughs> she takes a lot of those photos. Yeah, I, I literally, I purposely hit her up. I was like, last time you gave us a photo, it turned into a t-shirt. You got another photo we can use? Like, <laughs> right. maybe you'll get another t-shirt out of the deal. Fuck. Right. Absolutely. Get, you know, we get cool fucking 
pictures and you get your shit turned into t-shirts. Let's help each other. Word up. Hell yeah. Definitely. Well, I guess uh, I guess we're gonna bump some music, man. Um, you got any last words? Any shout outs? Anything we, we we forgot to get to or didn't get to or? Um, yo, just just um, shout out to everybody out there listening, man. Shout out to the whole Shadow Army, Shadow Empire. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out there who's making this happen. Everybody who's working behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Uh, shout out to the Magic Ninja Crew, man. Uh, make sure you go cop that new Twisted that's coming out in a couple in a, in a, in a few days and shit like that. That mad season. Look out for Boondocks wow. and shit. Look out for Blaze and shit. Um, and just the whole crew, man. The whole team, man. Um, all the juggalos in, in New York and, and America and across seas and just all the music fans in general, man. Have fun, drink something, smoke something, and just go fuck somebody, man. Word. <laughs> you feel so much better, bro. I know I will. I'll be backed up. I got the fucking cactus cock, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens. <laughs> I feel you, brother. And while you're well, doing it, make sure you guys bump Party Castle. Yeah, man. Make sure you make sure you bump that hypnotize, though. It'll help your rhythm out. Trust me. <laughs> I practiced alone and it was great. <laughs> there you go, man. Hell yeah. Make sure you guys follow. 10 out of 10. Uh, would recommend. Instagram, Thank Twitter, you. all that good stuff. It's pretty easy to find. There's no other Alexa Hexmaster. So uh, make sure you follow him and uh, go check out the video for Chill Mode. I think that's up on Twisted's YouTube. Yeah. 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 Go peep that out. Hell yeah, man. Well, we're glad we got to hang out, man. I'm so excited that Party Castle's doing well and I can't wait to. To, to hear part two, three, four, and whatever more you got coming. Yeah, we're gonna kill them, man. Point is to kill them. Fuck yeah, man. Just hit them with, the, hit them with some of the best music that they ever heard in their motherfucking lives. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do right now. So, uh, yeah. much love. Always a pleasure talking to you, and hopefully, we don't wait another two and a half years and we talk again soon. No, you definitely won't, man. I'm definitely here. Hell we're yeah. not. That's what's up. Everybody else tuned in right now. If you're on the YouTube channel, uh, the, the stream's going to go away because we don't play music on YouTube. Everyone else listening everywhere else, we're going to bump some music for everyone to enjoy. Go over to so, ReplicanRadio.com uh, yeah, to Replicon hear, the, hear the lovely playlist. And uh, we'll sure. be back. Yeah, do it, Shout out to ReplicanRadio.com. Yeah. Boom. 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 We're back. What up? Boom. We're back. Hey, we're back. What's up? Hey, hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to motherfucking Lex, the motherfucking Hex Master, motherfucker. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to have a button. You know, it's always good talking with him. Fuck yeah, man. I love that dude. Very positive. Like, I'm in such a good mood now. I'm like, yeah. Thank God. I want to hug him. Give him a big old hug. I've been in a good mood. Yeah. Well, I'm in a better mood. But then I'm like, oh yeah, the world. <laughs> the world yeah. The like, world. Fuck. Well, you can't let the world get you down, man. No. It will try. It's hard. Um. It is a hard place to. Where is this? this? Fire. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like we angered so many people. So now we're, let's just. Well, you know. Finish the show with the uh, on positive on positivities. Put a little smile on your face. Hey, well, if you guys if look at your screen. You should give us all a file. A fo- follow. 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 S- follow. Subscribe. Follow. Make sure you follow Replicon Radio at Replicon underscore radio on Instagram and Twitter. Just Replicon Radio everywhere else. And if you look on the screen right now, you can actually follow us at big underscore rude 314 at dead body underscore man and at freaky p314. Oh, look at those bucket buckets. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to we named everybody. There, that's what they're called now. We named them. Yeah. We created it. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to the motherfucking ice machine. Um, I'm gonna do this. Where is it? Where, where did everything go? Boom. Let's look at this. It's uh, it's a little bit delayed for you guys, but uh, hang on. Actually, I heard how many times you hit that button. Yeah, a lot. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do this next week on the show. Before I forget, Hemlock is gonna be live right here on Replicon Radio Monday, July sixth. It's going to be July next time. Uh, Hemlock. Super dope. Metal type band from Vegas. It's going to be fun. Um, and now I'm going to go back. Did the image pop up yet? 
Yeah, Himmler. Uh, I don't have Okay, Him- you got Himmler? Yeah. So you, Okay, so I'm going back to the image that was right before that. Yeah, I saw, I saw the hats. The hat. I saw the hats. The hat. So I, I know there's not a lot He's of people. He's touching his pee-pee. There's not a lot, he was. <laughs> it's a fun picture. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of people tuned in right now, but if you're on the YouTube channel, if you're listening to one of the replays, um, this is like the uh, rough... This is a rough image. Obviously, you can see there's like images over shit. Fuck your head. But this is, uh, I just want to see, this is the general idea that we kind of have right now. Um, I just want to get everybody's thoughts. Uh, the listeners and the people. What are you? I was looking at the, the, the cross stitching, see what the, oh, what it, it says. Oh, it says radio.com. Yeah. On the inside. Yeah. But um, the brim, there's a, you, if you look close, you can see the dyno under there. That clearly won't be there. And then the dyno on the side has Replicon Radio behind it. That won't be there. So it was like rough images with other images placed over them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So this is this is the, this is the rough of the rough. Yeah, the rough you know of the rough. So we'll send this to the back to the people and be like, "How about this idea?" And then they'll send us their rough of our idea. And then if we like it, we'll and be like, okay, "Okay, that's a go." So I want to see you guys out there listening. We've talked about it for a while, and everyone's gung ho for hats. So. You're going to be the ones purchasing said hat. So I want to make... We like it. Do you like it? Right. Do you have ideas? Do you have thoughts or inputs? What do you think? So I just wanted to put that out there and let everybody see it. And uh, give us your thoughts and your inputs on our first ever Give us, uh, give us a, a little guidance here. So um, for all the like people it. listening later, just leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. What would you say, Ruth? I like it. I know you I do. Know we you talked know. about it. I just want the other people to see it. I was throwing you my opinion right now. I appreciate it. I like it except for the, like, I don't know what I would want there uh, where it says the Rebel Cam Radio in green. I don't know exactly. Like, yeah, it's the Grape Joe said bigger logo. So maybe that, because maybe, maybe like it's not taking, you mean? Yeah, maybe it's not taking up enough of the room. Yeah, and like on the side pick, it would, you would see it. It would it yeah. technically be there. It's not yeah. on this image, but it would, you know what I mean? Maybe, be, m- maybe make it a skew, kind of go diagonal across it, make it bigger. I, I don't know. It God. seems really symmetrical to me. Oh. I mean, that's pretty sure it'll be bigger when they print it up. I would think. Grape Joe wants a purple bill. Well, you know what? That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's not. It's really not. That's not an option. Like purple print instead of white print? Is that what you mean? I think you it mean still the purple bill. It's either way. It's not gonna happen. We, and um, we have to. This is literally. Thank you be, for the idea, though. Like, <laughs> no, I, I love the ideas. I want the ideas. It's just, I already know that it's not gonna happen. Because, like, if we could just make them, and they were easy. Then I'd make them all. I'd have every style, but we have to make the one the majority likes. We have to sell out. We have to be pop culture right here. Yeah. And we have to get the one the majority likes. You know what I'm saying? Because this is literally going to be the biggest purchase in Replicon Radio history, and we own all of our equipment now. Oh, we do. Nice. We've known about it for. He's known about it a few times. Yeah. But it's all right. You no, did. I thought you were still okay. making payments on it. It's oh. okay, you just forgot. No, I, I I thought he was still making payments on it. I know he made the one. I think the, like three months ago, you said the same thing. You did, huh? And it was already like four months paid off. It's you know it's Groundhog Day for Dead Body Man. It's literally <laughs> a new day every day. <laughs> Why do you think I've been trying to? That's cool know? though because you just got super excited again. Yeah, right. it's super awesome. Yeah, everything's we we have zero debt essentially. Um. But yeah, this is this will be the biggest. I mean, I guess technically that was our biggest purchase, but that was like a uh, really drawn out purchase. Very right. drawn out. This is gonna be literally the biggest purchase. And the next made. time you mention it, it'll still be drawn out in my mind that we, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, nice. But yeah. So it's one. I mean, but we're we're, make, we're doing big things, and I want everybody to see it. And I want to get everybody's input. So uh, I want a hat. Let us know. Put put me in for a hat. But yeah, we're hopefully once we get. Uh, if that's what we're sticking with, I'll send it to the people. They'll send us back the actual, like, their better looking version of almost a hat. Yeah. And kind of we'll more lined up stuff and, uh, yeah. you know, things are a little bit resized and yep. smoother. Grape Joe, where were you? Did you, like, disappear during the interview? You just came back again? Like, you 
hundreds of people were chatting during the interview and you weren't there and now you're back. I mean, it's okay. But yeah. Hitlock. Those guys tour the world. Make sure to get road stories. Well, make sure you're here to uh, remind us, Montana Josh. Shout out to Montana Josh for chatting in both chats. Montana. Montana Josh. Um, I'm going to pull this up. Quit Have you guys... Fucking ass. Yeah, I got another one. Have you guys seen this article? Let me pull it up. The article from a Far Out magazine in the UK. Uh, I think I had heard about the, the, the headline of it. Is it about the horrorcore artist? Uh-huh. Yeah. I, it, I did not read it. I it's the uh, 10 greatest horrorcore artists of all time. I did see it get regurgitated. It's been shared a lot, so yeah. I, I definitely wanted to talk about it. There's a sleeping dog there. Uh so this is from this is a UK magazine, Far Out magazine in the UK, and uh, I don't need to read this. Let's see. If you spend your adolescent days pogging over lyric sheets and finding the most gruesome example of lyrical murder on the page, like we did, chances are you'll be more familiar with horrorcore. The subset of hip hop is one of the genre's most unapologetic vibrant. Below, we're bringing you our ten favorite artists. See this. Anno- that annoys me already. The headline is the, the fact ten- that people are trying to read it and it keeps moving on them. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, that's the sorry. fact that the headline is the 10 greatest horrorcore artists of all time. Yeah. But then the opening paragraph is we're bringing you our 10 favorite artists in the genre. Right. Yeah. So which one is it? Is it the 10 greatest or is it your favorite? Because that's a different. Absolutely. Totally different. Um, anyway, well, let's get into the list. So num- coming up at number <clears throat> 10, Insane Poetry. I can I can totally agree. He he needs to be on the list. He's essentially a legend in in this game at this point. Uh, insane poetry, one of the pioneers of horrorcore music, often left out of list. They don't often re- they I like they're referring to them as a group and it's one guy. So they <laughs> I'm not I, I had no intentions to judge the article in this way. I just wanted to go over the list, but now that I'm reading it, I'm like God. Yeah. Let's put this. I, but I'm glad they put him on the list. It's funny. I don't know if you remember this, Rue. When we used to go to uh, Streetside and Vintage Vinyl. I know you remember that. Yeah. We'd always try to look for ICP Twisted CDs because a lot of them were hard anyway, to find. Really? Yeah. But yeah. And I, I remember I re- literally the CD picture. I remember finding it and I bought it. I had no fucking idea who Insane Poetry was. I was like, I thought it was the strangest name in oh, the world. Oh, the one with the straight jackets and all? Mm-hmm. All right. And I was just looking for Insane Clown Posse and I saw this. And I, I'm not even in front. I thought it sounded kind of weird. I'm like, poetry? I'm pretty sure I was with you when you bought that. I'm one. pretty sure you were. But I was like, I just bought it to buy it. Because I was like, it's a terrible name. Like, the poetry thing threw <laughs> me You know what I mean? Like, I thought that was... I'm was, pretty sure he said, I don't know what the fuck this is, but it sounds interesting and I'm going to buy it. Yeah, because the cover. I'm pretty I saw sure the people that was in the exact fucking, I was like, it looks pretty crazy because of the straight jackets and shit. Yeah. It's got insane, like, insane clown posse. I don't know anybody else with insane in their name. You know what I mean? But the, I was like, is it like spoken? Is it going to be spoken word? Like, I thought it was going to be like poetry, like yeah. actual. I didn't realize it was the rapper's name. I thought it was going to be weird poetry. And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to like this that. This is crazy. But I'm going to fucking buy it anyway. And come to find out, he's fucking super dope and he's a legend and he wrote fucking music for Vanilla Ice and he's fucking. This wasn't. This is clearly before LSP, but. Right. So that's dope. Number nine. It's delayed on everybody's screen, so it's fun. Yeah. Uh, Kid Crusher. <laughs> number nine. The cannibal clown, or Sean to his mum, is a multi-talented South Australian rapper, actor, composer, and producer who has broken into the almost impenetrable U.S. horrorcore scene with gritty vocals ranging from a laid-back hip-hop flow to ear-melting death metal screaming. His music is as recognizable as his face paint. He went from releasing self-made music videos on YouTube to tour in with Tech 9 ICP and West Coast Pimper of Rides exhibit. And also doesn't know anything about Australia, and he was born and raised there. He doesn't. He doesn't. It's funny. when I, I did the same thing you did when I read his name. I laughed. <laughs> when I read the paragraph, I was like, oh, that's fair. You know what I'm saying? Considering where he's from, and like everybody knows who the fuck he is, at least in this scene. You know, yeah, for sure. He did a great job at NetFest. Yeah. Remember we all watched that? We're like, holy shit. 
Yeah. He makes cool videos. So, I mean, you got to give props for Pops for I think he actually got due. a little bit better. He's just a terrible interviewer or interviewee, I guess. <laughs> we should have him back on. Maybe we should. Redemption? Yeah. Redemption song! We're like, hey, we've been talking shit about you for the last three years. For years. <laughs> you know what? It, it, he, if by all accounts, <laughs> he could have just been really fucking high and not known anything. Because, I mean, we did interview uh, the people from, uh, what the fuck, uh... And it was like Bizarre what? and uh, and King Gordy, Gordy, they were terrible because they yeah. were so goddamn high they didn't know anything. About, they were like, "I rap, what the fuck?" You know, it's like, <laughs> it's true. It's like Jesus Christ. And I mean, it was like what three in the morning, morning or something for him or something yeah. weird like that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we we give him a lot of shit, but we've never actually took like thought like maybe he was like really high or you said it was three o'clock in the morning for him. Who knows? Right. We should number, get it back. Number eight. <laughs> Which is was unexpected to me. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Crossroads is a horrorcore song. <laughs> I mean, it's about people dying. I guess it is. No horrorcore list would be complete without the Bone Thugs. But why? From their seminal album East 1990 Turtle, with its occult themes and tongue-twisting violent lyrics, through to solo efforts by Cleveland's finest, Bone Thugs have always had one foot in horrorcore, and even spawned less successful spinoffs as Crazy Bones Thug Pirate Group called. Night Riders. I feel like all they had was the song called Ouija. I mean, they had Ouija. I mean, I. I mean, I agree with what they said right off the if bat. You look that at no it, hardcore list could be complete without having them on there. I can agree with that. Top ten. But I don't know about throwing them at number eight. Well, I mean, I guess, well, I guess. What do you want them higher? So based on based on the way this whole thing is, worded, I mean, they did influence a lot of fucking people. Like I to appreciate. Do I don't know. I don't know anything. Core, core, really. Yeah, I don't know anything about Far Out Magazine. I've never heard of them before this at all. Um, but just based on a few things they've already said, like calling insane poetry a group. Right. They don't. I don't think they know everything. So I appreciate the fact that they're trying to highlight this genre in a positive way. Yeah. But I feel no, like absolutely. they're they're not in it like we are. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so maybe they're seeing, they just, because Bone, especially early Bone, they definitely had a lot of, like, yeah. imagery and stuff Absolutely. with Ouija and uh, and creeping on the come up. I mean, you know, like they even mentioned, like, shit about uh, cult themes. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. I could see that. It's just very, uh, yeah, it was very strange to me. But I think it became more hip-hop as they grew bigger. One, yeah, like, kind of like, yeah, like Crossroads. I wouldn't necessarily say horrorcore is more hip-hop. Yeah, but I could I could see like early Bone definitely having yeah. uh, influences and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to pull the chat up on the phone because uh, I can't have it on the screen. Let's see, number number seven, even better, Cool Keith. Who the fuck? Hmm. Cool. I, I, am I the only one that hasn't heard of him? No, I don't know who that is. No, yeah, you guys listening, you see it at the same time. It's Rue and uh, Dead Body Man are going to the delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys will see it as, as we're talking about it, they come up. So, But it's uh, delay. Yeah. Cool I'm Keith. on you guys' yeah. time, not our time here at the studio. One of the greatest storytellers in rap, Keith is a confounding a character as his lyrics. I don't, know, I don't even know what I just said. Uh, claiming to have invented horrorcore. And certainly influencing a generation, Cool Keith and his several stage personas is a standout figure in hip-hop. From his first appearance in 1988's Critical Breakdown with Ultra Magnet MCs. You're not square on my screen. No. No, it's because there's an ad. There's like ads on the whole right side. Oh. That's why. Okay. Like, you'll see my cursor. Because all I can see is the E-I-T-H. Like that, you see that same image, right? Here's, Here's what I see. Yeah, I don't I, even I, see I cool keys on, yeah. on the flyer on the oh. they hit the play yeah, button. Yeah. Scroll up a little bit. I see. Okay. I don't know. Is this spelled with a K out. or a C? K. That's what I thought. Okay. I think I might have heard. I see your. I, I, see I know your his cursor name. <laughs> yeah, because those are all fucking ads, and I can't move it. Yeah. But I feel like <laughs> I, I after seeing that photo. I know Pretty the name. Sure I, I just know. I've never heard it in, in related to horrorcore in any 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 sense of the matter. So I'm I'm completely unsure about that. Um, if anybody listening has any input on that, I mean he's got he came out with an album earlier this year. I hope that guy that uh, influenced ICP that uh, lives in Alaska and makes this list. 
I was gonna make it smaller, but then I can't read it. So fuck that. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm 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 completely confused by that one. Number six, well deserved. Kung Fu Vampire. Nice. Fangs. Check. Pale skin. Check. Supernaturally good looks. Check. Uh, Kung, California's Kung Fu Vampire has the lot. Long gone are the contact lenses and face paint, but the stage presence remains. The influences are clear. Kung Fu Vampire has inspired, has been inspired by the best, and has been firmly established himself as one of the leading acts in horror gore. One hundred percent, I agree with that. He's a staple. Totally down, and it's you know what I mean, right in the middle. I mean, At number six, six. I mean, yeah. Well, let's see who else we got because I feel like maybe he should be a little closer. I'm not disagreeing. And we'll see. Number five, Tech Nine. Which, I mean, I guess his earlier I'm even, stuff. I'm not. Well, yeah, he's always been part. He's thrown into this genre way more than Bone or Cool Keith is. That's for sure. Right. I, I agree <laughs> with that. Um, perhaps the most popular artist on the list, Tekanina, started life as an unknown horrorcore rapper, quickly gaining notoriety amongst juggalos with his choppy flow and horror theatrics. He rose through the ranks of mainstream culture and now rubs shoulders with celebrities, going so far to be cited as one of Eminem's friends. Aww, Aww. that's in the article. Nothing can compare. With Tech Nine's flow, and here he lets rip a dominance the genre with crippling grasp on lyrics. I get that. I totally agree with all that, and I'm actually impressed that he's not uh, like further one down or two right. because most people do. Because again, he is perhaps I the most like popular he, I artist feel like on he the list. Be further down too, but let's. But in all fairness, in horrorcore, I think that's a fairly good spot because. He yeah, had some of that in the early days, and he did like you know KOD and shit like that, and uh, Evil Brain Angel. He's 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 a little bit of both. He's, the, he's the clown, the king, and the G or whatever, right? Yeah. So yeah. The clown is the only part that really fits in there. Number four, Ghetto Boys. Um, let's see. I mean, they've always been, ICP's always cited them as being. That's a, that's a good spot for them, I think. Yeah, described as music truly without redemption, only dread. Uh, Ghetto Boys were controversial from the outset, but delightfully stepped things up a level under the father like gaze of Rick Rubin. Their sound was distinctive, their lyrics enough to make parents double check what their children were listening to. Not to mention the infamous album cover, We Can't Be Stopped, in which Bushbook Bill poses on a hospital gurney after being shot in the eye. Bill would later admit the incident occurred with Godding his him part. Oh. Someone trying to kill him for insurance purposes or some shit. But yeah, I, they, they should definitely be on the list. They were, you know, I mean, ICP used to always quote them as being like the, the original horrorcore. Yeah. Like, they weren't necessarily a horrorcore group, but they had horrorcore songs because it was before ICP, before like Isham. Right. So they should, I feel it. More so than Cool Keith for sure. Rounding it at number three. The Insane Clown Posse. Oh. I really like... I like that it's, it's not I, what you... This list is not what you expected I'm, it to be. I'm, I like that... Excuse me. I like that they're not number one. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, normally there's a lot of lists and I don't normally bring them up, but I like that this one was different. Uh, once basking... One basking in the label of the most hated band in the world, ICP are enjoying mainstream success at last. You will still be hard pressed to find their music on daytime television, but the clowns are now a staple of pop culture references, memes, and TikTok trends. Mama don't love this wicked clown? Maybe, but I think you may find Mother Dearest holds a secret soft spot for them. <laughs> 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 it's so true, though, because it, it really is. They really have become a mainstay in pop culture, and uh-huh. you see fucking Juggalo references everywhere. Yep, it's the best. Number two. We're gonna uh, piss them all off now. Oh no! Number two. Oh jeez. Twisted. Ah! Oh, I geez. knew it was coming. <laughs> oh jeez. Madrox. This is the uh, Madrox and Monoxide have laid claim as kings of the underground since leaving Psychopathic Records in Oof. 2012. Oof. They have gone on to not oh, this only start up another spike. They have not. They have gone on to not only better replicate but succeed ICP's legacy altogether. Oh. 
Their label, Magic Ninja Entertainment, has one of the best artist lineups since Psychopathic's glory days. So what I'm gathering is these are a bunch of Twizzlers that came up with this news article. <laughs> the, UK, the UK Twizzlers? Yeah. Helped possibly by the number of artists that jumped ship to join the Demented Duel in their venture, still they remain unchallenged at the top. Oh, this hat, yeah, this has to be twi- <laughs> UK Twizzlers that made this. I mean, come on. That was directly jabbed. <laughs> Uh, uh, Absolutely, I don't I, agree with that. The, the other ones don't really correlate to each other in this list. I'm not saying that Twisted should yeah. maybe be number two, but at the same time, you got to show you got to show the quality that and, and and give the and give the credit where the credits due to IZP for bringing these kids up. Yeah. Well, see, here's my here's my this is my thoughts. I agree with you. you obviously, everybody knows I'm I love fucking Twisted, but. My, I, and I don't even disagree. I necessarily don't even disagree with this paragraph, but I do disagree with it in the context of this list because everything else has been a general yes. overall. If this was the current horror court thing, and that then, then that paragraph may be justified. But this right. nothing has been the current horror court. You know what I mean? We're talking about ghetto boys and cool Keith and people who are you know originators. So that paragraph is not fair to anyone except for Twisted in this. In this list, you know no, what I'm saying, absolutely. like, because because it, in in retrospect of time, they're, they they how none of they, the other paragraphs talked about anybody any other artist. Yeah, well, no, except but for they this didn't. One. Well, they didn't talk about uh, except for this one. Well, that's true. So why do we got to mention anybody else in this in this paragraph? Because well, we're not just talking, saying their legacy. But, we're not talking about anybody else but Twisted at this point. Yeah, just like we didn't talk about anybody else but ICP during theirs. So why do we got the why do we got to throw the controversy out there again? Yeah, the, I mean this is a direct shot. I mean, come I mean on. that's point blank pistol yeah. at your face pop. Yeah. No, I agree. I I I agree. I agree. And I, if I was twisted, I would be mad that they made that yeah, that they put that in the caption because it it has no place on this list yeah. for that description. I mean, if like you know, accurate or not, it it, it doesn't belong on this list. I mean, for for them to su- succeed, ICP's legacy altogether. Okay. All t- it I can see it's, that being put in there. It said all but, together. Like, yes, yes. And, and, and do and, you know what ICP built? Right. Yeah, well, they built. They did it. To, they built it together. I know. They haven't. They as much dopeness that M and E has done. They haven't succeeded ICP's legacy. They, they're. I mean, their legacy is massive. And yeah. and I. It, there would have to be a whole and other movement in, all, in order to in all, surpass that. In all honesty, with no disrespect to Magic Ninja and what they built, I feel like in the end they're going to be part of ICP's legacy, even though they're not a part of it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the it's the Juggalo legacy. But, yeah, like, I understand that, but if it's we, all part if, of the if, web. But if we're making a list of the top ten fucking horror or or their their top 10 uh-huh. because it's not greatest anymore after the, after what you say here fuck you your greatest shit don't even apply no more now it's your list but it said it said that in the small print there for right. it's not you're right the headline said but the your 10. headline can't say the 10 best and then you go fucking backwards uh-huh. on that and say our favorite and so I'm now not, we know you're taking a fucking and I, jack and, and i actually i agree with everything they said i for maybe not succeed their entire legacy but they definitely better replicate and succeed and, you know whatever but yeah I don't know I mean but we're not done yet that's only number two hold on hold on if you look if you look at what's going on today who's still carrying on and and, and, and putting out music for people to enjoy Twisted now we're getting podcasts we're getting Instagram videos from Psychopathic but I'm not saying they ain't working on nothing, but throw us a single. Let us listen to something, please. Well, they got new shit coming. Oh, I'm sure they do. They've been talking. Shaggy's <laughs> been talking about it on the Shaggy and the Creep show. Yeah. I mean, they got stuff coming. They're just slower. They're older. They're slower. And they were, quarant- I mean, they were quarantined, not together. I but, mean, and apparently Shaggy doesn't have But even with, that, with, with what I just said, there's it's no hot. reason to even fucking throw jabs at them. I mean, they go years in, in between studio sh- sessions yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, there's no reason for for. Okay, fuck your bullshit. Next, <laughs> next, next. So number one, there's two number ones 
on this. That list. can't be two. Number I already ones. saw the top one. That I saw one of them. There's two. They so, can't be so two. So even before they announced number one, one thing we must address without Eshop and the Flatliners, there's possibly there would be no horrorcore, and a definite chance there would be none of the other artists mentioned here. So Eshop is number one. Is that where we're at right now? Uh, or we're at two and one. This is by no means an ex- exhaustive list, and some might argue there are names missing. Which should be included. I don't think you should. Did Esham in. So, number in, one, Flatliners. In, Haley from New York, the Flatliners coined the term horrorcore, but they didn't just come up with the catchy name to file their CDs under. Their contribution to music shaped hip hop as we know it and added some twisted devil horns. Not bad for a group with only one official album to their name, USA Under Satan's Authority, which sold only 36,000 copies during its 1994 release. And the other number one is Esham. So two I number ones. Have one or two. Where's two at? That was twisted. That was twisted. So so this is a list of eleven, not and not ten. Essentially. So the other number one is Esham. It's a bonus yes. one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, right. So here's the thing on Esham. So Isham. another another reason why this article is full of shit. Yeah. So yes, others may claim to be the originators of horrorcore, but Esham took their formula and completely changed the game. He formed the foundations of what we hear in today's underground scene. Many have tried, but few have matched his originality. Isha was then the most shocking lyricist to emerge from Detroit. He's more chilled out these days, but still continues to drop out albums consistently. I like the fact he keeps going back to the Twisted one and then back up. And hey, back to the Twisted weird one and back York up thing. and back to the Twisted one. And Bjork should be number one. That was on while list. we were talking about it. <laughs> you're just, you're on the way now. Um, but it's okay. So that's another reason this list is full of shit because they have, you can't have. You can't have you can't say it's the top ten when you have eleven. No. Just say. You have two number one. <laughs> it's not possible. Two number one. So then you gotta kick off the, the tenth one. It's it's that's a weird it's a weird thing because um Flatliners, when we had them on the show, we talked about that. I mean mm-hmm. they are technically cited as the original originators of you know that term and that style of music. But even like this says, they put one record out in 1994. They're doing shit now. You know what I mean? Like right. now that they're, they become like, they become, it's almost like they became a legacy. Fucking Heimer. Because of. I agree with that, buddy. Because of We'll it. go with that. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. Like just because of that one thing that they did and they coined that frame and they did like a horror style album when they were actually talking about the devil and shit and it was like, you know what I mean? And yeah. now it's become a thing, and then people look back like, "How? When did this start?" They discovered them later. You know what I mean? Can you actually start something if people discovered it later? Is right. that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, yes, they did it first. Yeah. But nobody knew they did it when they or started they, doing they, it. Or, you know or maybe they did. Maybe they heard them it's and possible. like, well, "Fuck, they're not doing. They're not doing nothing. Let's try to copy them and go out and do the same shit." But say you're. I don't know if this is true or not. You're welcome. Hi, I feel man. like I should know it's true, but I don't know. Um. He said so, they're British. They can't count. It could be. Um, so, so say you're Esham, right? And you've never heard the Flatliners before, but you start rapping the way you rap, right? Sure. And then ICP comes along, and then House of Crazies, and you know, you know, you know what happens after that. Here we are. And then people are like, "Well, who started this shit? Oh, it was the Flatliners." And Esham's like, "Nah, who the fuck is that? I did, I, I did this. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, so." Just because the Flatliners did it first, but nobody knew about it, were they really the reason that this happened? Not necessarily, no. Or was it Esham because he did it, and that's what kind of got the ball rolling? Maybe not. I mean, maybe he may was, have been influenced by the Flatliners. I'm not maybe it was sure. ICP, and since ICP was influenced by Esham, maybe people went back and checked out Esham. Well, that, that, that definitely. I mean, so it ICP, really depends on who you who you are. I don't when think you there's an argument. Like I, I don't think there's even an argument here. If we have ICP him back on, we have to ask him that ICP question. ICP made it popular. Right. Like, I don't think there's an argument there at all. Like they, Yeah, but it's... Even who, Esham is like, no, they... they I did opinion. my thing. They did their version of my thing, and boom. But Holy it, fuck. It, it, in the end, it's just an opinion, though, because nobody knows where the fuck came from. Like, nobody knows... Where the fuck? Who's who was the first rap artist out there? Oh, for who sure. the first was the first metal artist? But out I'm saying there they look so, back and they and they they they've decided they timeline. Whoever things, they probably. are, they decided that Flatliners was the first ones to do it. Right. In a timeline of things, they did it first. But that doesn't mean they influenced anyone. Right. We've done a lot of things here first that no one ever heard. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean 
You know what I mean? If you're breaking ground but no one ever steps on it, are you really breaking ground? I'm sure my name's influenced other people <laughs> to use them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who is that? That has happened as well. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, just because you did something first doesn't mean you started it. I, you know what I mean? I mean, not, I'm not saying they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect to them at all. They're dope. We had them on the show. You should go listen to the replay. If we have Ishan back on, we can ask him. We should, We may have. Like, I may know this answer and just forgot it. I forget things too, that body man. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> not as much, but I still yeah. forget. I like that they said all in there. Should have cracked me up. <laughs> right. I don't even remember why they said it. See, I already forgot. But yeah, it's a pretty crazy list. What do you guys think about the list? Montana Josh, I'm not saying that person's name on the show, and I won't click that video either. So, but I love you. Hmm? <laughs> Don't want to give that dude popularity. No. But yeah. So what? So, so I guess I want to see what everybody's thoughts are. We got somebody who has thought. Oh, he's got all kinds of hammers coming with the. So well, I was gonna tell ask, you. So what, who do you think? Necro scum goes on. <laughs> What's I was gonna, who do you think if you had your own top 10 who would be uh, who's missing that's a, such a hard well again like we said at the beginning is it Man, yours a lot of people miss is it them. your favorite or is it who you think are the best because those are that, that could be different you because your personal even as a, you know what I mean like my personal favorites may not be the people that I believe should be on a top 10 list who are you know what I mean like someone like Insane Poetry who I think should definitely be on the top 10 list would not be in my top 10 favorites personal favorite you know what I'm saying like I'm not I, mad love for IP but I don't bump him all the time you know what I'm saying I got well, mad that, respect that, for the I dude I mean that just depends on what list you're talking about these guys want to call it the top 10 and but it's their top 10 and they don't even know what the fuck they're doing yeah. So yeah, they bounce back and forth on on th- their top ten and the top ten. So yeah. they're just a regular news site that doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But I feel like if you if you gave a shit about whatever it is you're talking about, you you should respect you whatever should it is you're doing. Research it and do it. What? Well, yeah, and not well, not you know what I mean. If, if they would if they would just said our top favorites, I couldn't have argued I would, with it. I would agree with it one hundred percent. And they did say that in a little tiny print after I read it. But the headline says the ten best. Oh, Those are different things. See, 10 best, then it'd be a different yeah. list. Uh, now, the 10 best founders are like the ones that, that solidified yeah. this, and that, then it'd be more so kind of what this list was. Yeah. Rather than their favorites, uh, you know, it'd be like who built it. I, I think it should be Ishan, I, you know, ICP'd and Twisted, you know, just because of how how they shaped the game. Because it, yeah. Ishan, you know, really kind of brought it to light. Absolutely. And, and, and he, wouldn't be on my, he wouldn't be on a personal favorite list, but he would definitely no. be on the – the best of list, yeah, for sure, but yeah. not my best. My the, personal, no, no. But no. in the in general of the genre, one hundred percent, yeah. And and those top three right there, that would be you know, um, that would just be just because of how they shape the game, for sure. You know, absolutely. Danny K would be a bonus oh. number one for me. Number one. Oh, the Danny, Danny K be number, number one, one on my shit too. No, he's gonna be one dash two. That, so that, he's gonna be one point five. So yeah, if, 1. You 5, had, yeah, one. Yeah, if you 5, had, yeah, one point five personal. One. Top ten horrorcore artists. What would it be? I mean, I, you want me to give them in an order or just name them all off? Just yeah, no, you, no specific order. Off. I mean, ICP would definitely be there. Twisted would definitely be there. Esham would definitely be up there. Just I like Esham, but um, <laughs> what? Just because he's not on my favor doesn't mean you have to tell me you actually like him. Well, no, I mean he would be on mine. Um, the Ghetto Boys would be on that list. Um, fuck, how many did I just name? Four? I would probably even put like... Uh, it's my favorite list, right? Yeah, yours. Alright, so I would probably put like... Uh, who else can I put up there? Tech 9 would be on there just because I started listening to him in his early ages when mm-hmm. he was not... And it, well, he was somebody, but wasn't as popular. Uh, let's see. You know, the more I, I, I'll give you a second to think because it's just possible. The more I think about Bone, the more I think about how a lot of their older shit was definitely horror. But I, and when when we started reading that article, I started to realize that like the more yeah, I think I about it, I've there. never put them in that category. But the more I think of early Bone, I can see it. Yeah, 
I don't know if I put them in there, but um, yeah, I feel like they're too not underground to be. They're too mainstream to not to be, even if they, you know, they like. I'd be like Colin Marilyn Manson. I mean, Tech Four. Nine is friends with the Eminem. True. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like Colin Manson, Marilyn Man. I mean, yes, he makes horror music, but he's fucking the mainstream dude. Like, mm-hmm. it's count, like calling corn metal. <laughs> I mean, I would think I would, I would probably put Blaze in there somewhere. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that everyone else gets any psychopathic Eminem artist that's not ICP Twisted. They don't ever get mentioned. And I would, uh, I would, uh, <laughs> ever. I, I would I probably, mean, I, I thought a couple. I would probably put like a Damian Quinn in there. Since there you, you mentioned it. Uh, <laughs> did he mention it? I didn't hear he, it. No, he just mentioned that if it's not psychopathic, you know. Oh, no, I was, actually, I, no I was actually, no, I was actually, I was getting there. Uh. No, I would I'm not talking to you, I'm just saying like an, anything. Not I would throw us, him in there. I would throw, um, fuck, who else? We're always the uh, exception, generally. Mm-hmm. It's hard. I mean, even like Hyro mentioned Scum earlier, I'd probably throw him in there. Yeah, yeah, throw Loki on there. Yeah, mm. he was in the super group Temple Rain. That that was a fucking badass album. Um, and, yeah. I got one for your list. Maybe. I feel like ABK should be on Rue's list. See, I was thinking that, but you was like a you was an anybody killer rider for a long time. Like okay. you were his number one well, I guy. I still, I mean, I still <laughs> am, but I feel like it's just not, he's not fresh in your mind because he's not. I feel fresh. like he's somewhere. I, I think he's just somewhere different now. Definitely some old school Mad Max. Yeah. Absolutely. Emerald's coming with. The, yeah. Emerald's coming with the suggestion. Yep. Yeah, I don't know who my tenth one would be. Think of people I like mean, then he got old, like, uh, the, not the horror crunk stuff, but like his earlier stuff, Bloodshot. I mean, he, he was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, I'd probably put Buckshot? more people in that I. Bloodshot. That I've I seen. Know, that I've seen grow up into the game would probably all be on my top 10. See, I'm still thinking Light? of it like the. Alizoli Lou? Like people that grew up, like I watched grow up since I started listening uh-huh. to the, to the genre. I'm thinking of the people that built it to what it is, you know. Well, that's a different. It is. That's where my mind is. Like, but you're, I'm saying you're personal. You didn't listen there. to the question. I did listen to the question. Well, then you're not answering the question correctly. That's why I haven't been answering the question. <laughs> it wasn't your turn. <laughs> exactly. I can't remember that many names. Prozac, Resident. But yeah, I could probably throw fucking ABK in there somewhere. Balze Rose? No. Oh, she she <laughs> built it. And all of these people that we've just named need to be thanking her for her for whore. the influence. Damn, that's a whore, whore. Is it we're talking? Did you just call her a whore? No. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Whore. Well, he's, he said she was whore. I said whore, whore. whore. Can I? So are we just? We're, but we're just saying underground, right? I mean, what's? I don't know. We we were talking horror. Core. I know, but what's? I mean, I know there's a difference, but what's the difference? Like buckshot. Was he? I mean, he's, he's an not underground. a horrorcore rapper, he's but he has horror songs. He's an underground hip hop. He's not horrorcore. That's what I said. I would, so I probably wouldn't put him in there. But I mean, he did do a couple of horrorcore tracks here and there. Maybe I'm just not a fan of horrorcore. <laughs> it's hard to find. I mean, like, I, I mean, even fuck half of ICP's catalog isn't horrorcore. No. Well, the first half is. Rainbows over together is pretty hardcore, man. Not even then. It was a lot of that was political. A lot of ICP's early shit was political. They were like fuck the mayor and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they weren't even. Yeah, they were always talking about killing. Sometimes. Like, that's weird. I guess in the early later stuff. But that's why they're more popular because they're not fucking. You know what I mean? Like die, 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 kill, kill. They're like, hey, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna hug you. We're gonna love you, but fuck you. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, all the emotions. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Covered in one time. We are H-O-K. out of time. I agree with that. Yeah, They're horrorcore. Twisted isn't necessarily horrorcore either, but HOK we are was. Out of time, but he don't give a fuck. We are out of time. Tony was just like, Tony, I think that's the first time you've ever announced that. You're like, I'm not fucking sharing my list. We're out of time, motherfucker. 
No time for Total Told you Trust. I can't remember that many names, man. When you ask me to remember names of people, like, on the spot, like, uh, my brain locks up. It don't work that way. I got to write it down. I yeah, I don't think it. I can make a horrorcore list. It would just have to be just an underground list. Because even while I'm putting down names, I'm arguing with myself. I mean, I'm. Well, who the fuck was it? Uh, who's the fucking original? Kung Fu Young Wicked would be on the motherfucking list. Who was the motherfucker that was at the gathering? Fucking, uh, why can't I think of his name? Four State in Time. No. They are horrorcore. I watched other, that video the other, the other day. One of the original OGs. Shall talk about them. Um, Buster Rhymes. Old school, like 80s. You, now you know who I'm talking about. Maybe. Who are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> if I could remember his name, you'd probably be like uh, KRS1. Kurt Angle. <laughs> Why did I? I don't even like wrestling. And my head went to the same place. <laughs> Kurt Angle. That's who it is. Horrorcore album of the year. KRS One. Yeah, that's not horrorcore. No. no. But it's a dope artist. Boogie Down Productions. Oh, that is dope. Whoop whoop. That's the sound He's of the police. O- oh, yeah, OG. Whoop whoop. Yeah. Horrorcore. Horrorcore. Did I say it was horrorcore? I don't know. That's what we're talking about. I think, yeah. I Honestly, like, it's I think the old. I think scratch horrorcore. It's just underground. Shit's dope. Oh, Because well. I, I feel like Buck would be on my list because it's I love Buck. Young Wicked would 100% be on my list, and he's not horrorcore. Nope. But he'd be on my list. I feel like I would just cheat, though, if I can only if I only had 10. Instead of ICP and Twisted, I'd put Dark Lotus on there, so I got both. <laughs> Instead of Young Wicked, I'd put Axe Murder Boys, and Bones is cool. Sometimes. I, if we're going to do underground, I'm going to put the fucking digital underground on my list. Oh, shit. That means you get Tupac. That's right. <laughs> Word life, son. Yeah, I'm going to put Spotify on my list. Spotify's what? not what? an artist. There we go. All right, YouTube. We love y'all. Tune in next motherfucking... Uh, what day do we do this? Monday. Monday. Look at your phone real fast. You want to do that? Grape Joe says, look at your phone. Grape Joe says, look at my phone. Oh, shit. He's making our cool dino. Look, now, still making headphones. Oh, yeah? Should I show you? want me to share it? I mean, you can show it to me. You want to share it with them. All right. We'll keep it exclusive for now. Ooh, that's look fucking at that. dope. <laughs> we got some dope freshness coming. That's the one he sent us a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. We got more flavor in it. More flavor. We're gonna have to pick up some of these cords and put it, make some room on the table. Yeah. That's where we get our fancy studio built. We'll have uh, all the cool dinos and shit uh, for everyone to see. Yep. Displays on the table. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean. Uh, shout out to everybody that tuned in. Sorry we uh, pissed off all of our Patreon members, but we love you. Whoopsies. Um, <laughs> secret trick. We do love you guys. Thank Alexa you for Hex. tuning in tonight, everybody. Where's the damn? I was uh, trying to put the headphones. damn flyer on the damn screen again. Yep. Lex, look at Lex. Look at Lex. Look at the hat samples. There it is. Next motherfucking Monday, Hemlock. Yeah. Live right here. Replicon Radio. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel if you don't already. Peep the replay on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Spreaker, Spreaker, Stitcher, Spotify. No nope. podcast addict. <clears throat> All of the above. Hi, Emerald. What up? Bye, YouTube. We love you. <laughs>